Where's your uniform tank? I really <laughs> wanted my health stone vest, but it's in the wash. <laughs> Just got guns out instead. Shoulders. We do need better merch, you know. We you do need better merch. You know like like how it's all just like basically the logo? <laughs> yeah. I was thinking like you could do like some <laughs> like this like Hellstone Wargaming established and have like a simpler. Yeah. Leisure wear. Leisure wear. <laughs> leisure wear. Like silky. I probably should yeah. have studied first, shouldn't I? Yeah, you're a little bit taller than us too. Yeah. Just squat. I'm taller than tank. <laughs> it's just the hair. I'm little. And tank's tiny. Right. So th that's funny, I suppose. Should we just be serious? Serious battle report? Because it's Dan Stone Wargaming, and I'm not in uniform either. Just do, let's just do us. Just do us, okay. It's all premium. Comment. In fact, no, we don't, we're not doing us because Neil's here, so it's, <laughs> it's like... <laughs> This, really this, bad dad jokes. This this is premium comedy. Pre right it there. is premium, so you can swear. It's competitive, so we're not allowed to be funny. Yeah, you have no, to be this serious. Is, this is serious. No smiling today. No smiling. There'll, there'll be no smiling from me anyway. No rolling ones from you. Hi there. How's it going? My name's Mikey, and I run Hellstone Wargaming as a whole. Obviously, I'm not in this video, but I'm putting myself in it because that's the type of person I am. Uh, some of you may recognise this battle report intro, some of you might not. The reason being is this video is actually from our premium service held on hellstonewargaming.co.uk. So some might be asking like, if that's premium, why, why are you putting it out on YouTube and isn't this for premium exclusive? And yes, it is supposed to be for premium exclusive, but we're putting it out on YouTube for two reasons. One, um, we're putting this out for free in hopes that other people can see the type of content that we are putting out onto onto the website and hopefully this might persuade you to consider supporting our, our channel on our website. The second reason, which is the main reason we're doing this, um, obviously the first one would be nice if more people can support, but the main reason we're doing this right now is because we're trying to do, we, we've got the big push, we're going to call it the big push. So what do I mean by the big push? Well, we're a relatively small channel, but we, our goal when we started the channel was to hit 10,000 subscribers. And currently at the time of filming, we're about 9,240 odd. Uh, so we're only 750 away. So we're trying to push ourselves and hopefully convince you to subscribe. So if you haven't already subscribed to us on YouTube, then hopefully by watching this video, that might convince you to subscribe to us on YouTube. Um, if you are already subscribed, then hopefully this video might like lead you towards our website where we do more type of competitive content like this and also lots of funny ones which we are known for and finally if you are already a premium subscriber then thank you so much because you are literally helping my and all of the team's dreams come true where we can do this and you know for a long time and just have fun with it we have a great time making videos for you uh, and hopefully you guys enjoy watching them. So if you want to see more content like this, then the best way to support it is by subscribing to Hellstone Premium on hellstonewargaming.co.uk. So thank you very much to you, everyone. Honestly, tuning in um, is like the biggest help is just actually watching the videos. Subscribing on YouTube is amazing and subscribing on pre Premium is like, we, we can't thank you enough. So your view is all that we ask for really but if you can help us out this one time, that'd be amazing. So without further ado, enjoy Chaos Knights versus Gene Steeler Cults. ITC, super competitive. <laughs>
and Dan Snow More Gaming because Mikey's gone our way! Yay! Yay. Yeah, so welcome to Snow More Gaming. Um, we've got Neil, we've got Tank. Tank's back, Neil's Hello. back. Hello. We've also got. Neil, you forgot the, the prop. Get the prop. I like working amateurs all the time. We've also got this, the new Chaos Knight Codex. <laughs> but yeah, so we've got the new uh, Codex. Who's taking that for a spin though? Mmm. 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 It's you, isn't it, Neil? Might be. <laughs> I'm, I'm playing evil easy mode. Evil easy mode for Neil today. Um, you've got hard hard mode today, haven't you? <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> this well, is what's called playing with a handicap. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm using the GSC today. Yeah. So I think it's a debut, isn't it, for your? It is, yeah. Doing steel, so yeah. I've only had a few games of them. Double debut. Um, Again. Yeah. They're they're very potentially very strong, but very you know, to very use, difficult to play. Yeah. Unforgiving of mistakes. Yeah, I think that the, the, they're a bit like Drakari in a way, but they haven't quite got the fallback of the minus ones to hit in the invuns and stuff. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because the vehicles on amazing. I know you haven't got any today, but no. Yeah. So yeah, so we have got a double debut. You're running the Chaos Knights. Do you, what do you Chaos, think? Chaos Soup. I think they're mm -hmm. alright. Yeah. But between the three of us, there's three different opinions of how they're actually going to work. Yeah. So, yeah. You, you're in a you're in a position. Well, you. you I'm t Team Infernal. Yeah. Team yeah. Infernal. You're. I'm going iconoclast. Iconoclast, and I'm kind of. They just need to punch stuff. Doesn't matter which they are. <laughs> But you, you don't think they're as good as the Imperial ones, do you? I think if you go like three identical knights on three identical knights with like average dice, I think Imperial should if you all win. if you all have equal dice luck, I think yeah. Imperial win. Yeah. 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 And you're just about in the I uh, think, on the fence, aren't you? I really? think Chaos Knights are better if you go in soup. Because yeah. Chaos have got more to throw in there for soup. Whereas yeah. Imperium you've not really got that much compared. Like yeah, because you, you usually only suit <laughs> Imperial stuff for the CP, don't you? Not really. To I think the Chaos one need the help in yeah. terms of because they they've got the firepower ish, <laughs> but not as much as the Imperial ones. So, but mm -hmm. but they're actually better in combat. Yeah. I don't know the um, like the Admech and the Catachans do bring a lot to the party, don't they? But yeah. they do, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. especially, yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we've got a double debut. He's playing them. You're playing them. Should we go and look at lists? Mm -hmm. Oh, also, actually, might as well tell you, we're playing ITC, aren't we, today, Tank? Yeah, 2,000 points ITC. Yeah, with an LGT um, table set up as well. So That might be another debut, because I don't think I've done a uh, ITC on channel yet. There you go, then. So, debut everywhere. Yeah, you wanted competitive cheese, we're giving it to you. Yeah, so we've done everything today. We've got double debut, new codex, competitive cheese, purple LGT, men. purple men, Neil, Tank, what else? No Mikey. No Mikey. We've got to eight. Can we make it a ten? I'd what more could you ask for? Nine. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it, guys. Um, so who wants to do the list first? One of us. One um, of you. Yeah, I'll do mine. Let's 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 tang do his because he's got a lot to go through. And then yeah. I think Neil, you've got quite a bit to go through because it's a new codex. So um, we'll be back with the list next. Right then. So what's your list? Okay. So. Um, yeah, so I've started playing the Gene Steeler Cults. Um, it's it's potentially a very strong list, which we've seen because the the sort of some of the top players like Nick Nanavati and uh, James McKenzie doing well and winning events with them, so they can win. Are you saying you're netlisting, Tank? I am netlisting. Yes. I mean, when you start a new army, I think it's the you perfect the it's perfect good, way to start. It's a good starting point, isn't it? It's to take a netlist and then play with it, learn it, and then maybe you can put your own slant on it. Yeah, definitely. Um, when I picked up the army, I actually netlisted off James McKenzie. Uh, he was like the top UK uh, GSC player. Yeah. And probably, I think he's the second, he might be, he's first or second in the world as well. And because um, he's a nice guy, and I've played him before, so I've been hassling him for help as well. So yeah. I appreciate that. I started with his list, um, but and I've had like five games with mixed success. I've like totally destroyed a couple of people because they hit really hard. Yeah. Um, and then I've been smashed three times as well because if you don't quite get it right, the whole army is basically yeah, it's just, just exposed um, a bit. Yeah, very uh, well-armed guardsmen that hit very hard. 
Yeah, but they die just the same as guardsmen, unfortunately. So yeah, it's a it's a very challenging army, very complicated. Lots of combos to get right and aura bubbles to be in the right place. Um, but very fun and interesting. And if anyone sort of uh, spots any mistakes I've made, just um, leave us some polite comments. If you polite spot, comments. If you spot any um, big clangers that I make. Um, Feel free to sort of politely tell me how I could uh, how I could play that better in future. Yeah. Because uh, as I say, I don't profess to be good with this army yet, but hopefully you'll uh, enjoy me learning them through this video. If today. it makes you feel any better, I've probably played against Gene Steeler cults twice. Oh, nice. And mixed, but a lot of those were mixed with heavy guard elements like the mm -hmm. uh, the artillery and Gene Steelers themselves. Right, okay. So they're pretty different to what you're running, to be honest. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that goes. I actually played them a couple of times with pure Space Wolves and beat them both times. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Um, I, I said I've, I've been running James McKenzie's list till now. I've actually switched to Nick Nonavati's one, which has more aberrants in. Yeah. So I'm going to try that today. I'll go for the list. So it's three battalions, so I have 18 command points. Uh, okay. The army desperately needs, it, you'll see it uses them really fast yeah. and it needs them to do things. So 18, it sounds a lot, but it's actually not because yeah. you spend a load before the game as well. So I've got a, a Twisted Helix Battalion, uh, which is the one which gives uh, plus one strength and plus two to advance. Um, the most important reason and why everyone takes helix is because helix aberrants can fight a second time for free cp right which is really good uh it lets them like if not sort of kill something even more they can also move a bit more and hug things which yeah, can be handy gets the piles in us does it give them this is one that was raised the other day it lets does it let them fight as in the whole fight phase or does it let them attack again they attack again at the end of the fight phase. Right, so does that give them the extra moves afterwards? Yeah, before? so what a lot of people do is they'll send their aberrants into something, fight them as, pile in, fight them as normal, obliterate something, consolidate three inches closer to something else that was out of charge range, and then you activate them to fight them again, and they'll move a three inch pile in towards something they can't swing yeah because they've not declared it as a charge and it wasn't within 12 yeah but then you use your your piling and consolidation to sort of hug them around something and there is a stratagem because i'm taking one of the vigilist detachments called anointed frong and for 2 cp you declare at the start of the fight phase and all those aberrants automatically fight when they die so if you counter charge them you're sort of losing what you counter charge with yeah or if you were putting good, them, good reaction play, yeah. Or if you're putting them into something with a knight, like a knight that you thought they might not kill, you put the fight when they die on them, and yeah, you sort of get into swing twice essentially. So we've got um, that battalion's got a patriarch, a primus. Uh, the patriarch makes them fearless. He's also a psyker. He's good at combat himself. Yeah. Um, we've got a primus that gives some uh, plus one to hit, which is good. Uh, and when he comes on the battlefield, he can declare a target on the battlefield that helix units within six of him get reroll ones to wound against. So that's good. Yeah, that's uh, three units of ten brood brothers. Uh, they don't benefit from the chapter trait, but they're they're just cheap guardsman bodies yeah. with. I love why they're called bros. Yeah, but <laughs> brood bros. Yeah. Um, then we've got two units of ten aberrants. Uh, all with picks and the maximum of two stop signs you're allowed. Yes, it's all so, about them stop signs. Yeah, so these guys, they're more resilient than everything else in the book because they're toughness four and they've got five up, feel no pain and two wounds. They, they still die quite easily, to be honest. Yeah, there's a lot of them, though, aren't there? There's 20 in this list, um, but it is 250, the 25 points a model, so. Are these the ones that uh, reduce damage as well? Yeah, oh, that's another thing, yeah, they've got a, a wave serpent type ability. Yeah, so does so it knock it off by one or half? It reduces it by one. So, so Avenger Gatling cannons are gonna be like 
assault cannons for it. Essentially, game. yeah. Um, mm. The best way to kill them is like <laughs> bolters. Yeah. Um, probably bolters would kill them as well as auto cannons almost. So. Yeah. Um, and then there's also a Nexos in that. Um, you, in that in that battalion, he's the man that's brought his own table into. Yeah, he's brought his table, which has got it's got a map of Warhammer World on. Yeah, a bit of trivia and Forge World. Forge World's in there as well. Oh, of course. Yeah, don't forget Forge World. Don't forget Forge World. And he uh, he's essentially a like a CP recycler. Which if we can get two or three more over the course of the game, that's massive for cults. Yeah, because they they blitz through them. Uh, then we've got a, a mixed cult battalion next. We've got uh, the Magus, who's four-round emperor. Uh, just do that so you get the Vect type stratagem that they have. Oh, right, yeah. Um, and he's got a familiar with him, who is a relic one called the Crouchling, who uh, gives him plus one to cast. And uh, the familiar also means once per game he can cast two powers instead of one. Uh, we've got uh, Icon Ward, who is Helix. Uh, this is a Brood Surge deliverance from... Um, from the Vigilus book, so I'm using both Vigilus detachments in this. Right. And that lets the um, that lets the acolytes in this battalion um, have like a veterans or long war in combat, so they can get plus one to wound nice for speech. one CP. So that's good. Um, is that plus one to the dice roll wound rather than yeah? Plus one to the yeah. dice roll, which is really strong. Then we've got the we've got eighteen acolytes, all with hand flamers. Hmm. Um, so they're there for kind of screen clearance. Yeah, it's only six inch range of hand flamer though, isn't it? Yeah, but uh, GSC have got a stratagem that lets them come in within three inches. Yeah. So that's kind of what their purpose in life is. Um, then there's a unit of 16 acolytes with four saws in. Um, they're obviously like a sort of anti-tank type unit because yeah. the saws have no hit penalty, um, strength times two, that makes them strength 8 or 10 uh, makes them strength 8 but there's a psychic power that you can use to make them strength 10 yeah and then obviously you've got that plus 1 to wound roll uh, strap so yeah. you can get them like wounding a knight on 2s if your spell goes off re-rolling 1s because of the patri uh, the primus potentially that's tasty it's good um, and they're minus 4 AP and flat 2 damage yeah. So they're basically chain fists without the penalties to hit. Yeah, I know. Not bad. Yeah, a mining weapon that's better than 10,000 year old technology. Mining tools, should I say. But who's counting? And then finally, we've got the, the Bladed Cog Battalion, which is my shooting part. Right. Uh, the Bladed Cog um, chapter tactic, if you like, is a six up invulnerable save for the dudes, which is good. Uh, and also the ignore infantry ignore the penalty for moving with heavy weapons oh, yeah. which is really good um, so in this one we've got a, another patriarch who makes all these uh, miners fearless uh, we've got a jackal alphas who's the sniper lady on the bike and she can pick a unit each turn that she can see and then bladed cog uh, people within six of her get a plus one to hit so you can get all these on a, a free up Space Marine Ballistic skill, which is really good. Um, there's also an elite choice of a Kelomorph in this unit, in this battalion, and he's really good because, um, as well as just being good on his own, because he's like a, a pistol sniper yeah. with loads of shots. Um, if you shoot him first and he kills a model, uh, all these guys get, a re he, he sort of pops a, a reroll ones to hit aura then as well. So you can get all these on potentially if everything combos off, hitting on freeze re-rolling ones. So there's an awful lot of combos going on here. Yeah. <laughs> and then we've got we've got five units of ten neophytes, which are the the kind of minor griblies. Yeah. Um as I said, these are fearless, which is really good. Um and they've got six up in bones, potentially space marine ballistic skill. Most of them have got um, just guard style auto guns. Yeah. Um, but in each unit, we've got two mining lasers, which is a. It's a demi last cannon, isn't it? Well, it's a full last cannon, but only 24 inch yeah. range, which is good. But that's with move and shoot as well, no with penalty. With move and no penalty. Or deep strike and no penalty. Yeah. yeah. Um, and there's also two Webbers in each unit, 
So to have two special weapons and two heavy weapons in each unit is really good. So these units are 76 points each. And we've got 10 fearless bodies with two mini las cannons and two webbers. The webbers are a point each and they're a 16 inch range strength 4 flamer with d3 shots. It's not bad. It's really it's good. Not bad at all, though. So, so yeah, that's the list. Um, there's endless combos and a lot of depth within this army. I'll probably cock it up, but I'll try not to, and we'll see what happens. I can only hope. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, let's hear about some Chaos Knights. Let's. Right, so, Chaos Knights. Um, we'll start off. I have a super heavy detachment of Chaos Knights, which is three big knights, which gives me the plus six CP, which is always good. It's nice to have that rather mm. than just the three. The Legio Mortis. Yeah. So, I've actually borrowed Tanks Renegade Knights uh, for this game because mine aren't ready yet. Probably won't be ready for a while, but they're not ready yet. Um, so I'll start off with the Warlord, who's going to be the Knight. Um, they've all, all three of them, have got the Avenger Gatling Cannon, Heavy Flamer, and the uh, Rapid Fire Battle Cannon with um, Stubber, and then the additional Stubber. All of them have got the, it's the Iron Hail Rocket Pod, which is the indirect, the yeah, the indirect one, which Mikey thinks isn't very good, but I, really? actually, I actually think it's the best uh, one, especially in um, low model in this world of yeah. Increasingly, there's a better line of sight blocking. Yeah, people are realizing you need line of sight blocking in 8th edition. And the amount of games that Mikey's lost publicly as well, because there's been one guy left hiding and he's not been able to kill it. There you go, you don't need to see it and kill it. Mm. If you can, if you don't, if you can hit it, you've got a chance to kill it, and I think that's where they come in good, especially when you're, you're using an all infantry horde, yeah. so it's going to be wounding pretty much everything on threes. Oh, yeah, like hiding's my bread and butter, so yeah. So I think that's a good call. That's three of those straight through. One of them that's going to be the Warlord uh, is going to have the relics going to be the Traitor's Mark, uh, which basically it's a bit of a leadership debuff. So anything within 12 inches gets minus one leadership. Uh, anything within six inches is minus two leadership. Now, I'm hoping, I know the tank's got a lot of fearless stuff, but some of that is going to help it thin out some of the casualties. Um, I'm combining that with the Warlord trait, which is going to be Aura of Terror. So I'm not going to be going very offensive on the charging because I've got way more bigger guns. So I'm going to try and utilize my firepower before getting into combat. But the Aura of Terror is a pretty good debuff for, uh, for charging armies. So when a charge roll is made for the enemy unit within 12, which is obviously everybody apart from Howling Banshees, uh, subtract one from the result. So if he's not the uh, deep strike and win three and it's nine that's fantastic that becomes Gene a ten charge that's right. so unless you can bump up your charge range to bring you back to a nine chances are you might be failing some charges mm -hmm. um in addition to that uh if you have to take a morale check you roll it on two dice and you discard the of the lowest roll if it's a double you re-roll it mm -hmm. good so that's yeah, hopefully, again, added to his um, his relic for the debuff to leadership, I can hopefully do some additional casualties. So killing one or two out of a unit of ten immediately becomes effectively killing potentially yeah. four or five. So that's that's where we're going with that one. So that's basically the knight's detachment because there's not much you can do. All three knights are the same. Um, I'm hoping consistency is going to pay off in this one with these. Um, but I have got some allies. I've got fluffy allies. Very fluffy allies. So is it the Legio Mortis fell to Nurgle. They did. So we've got some Nurgle demons to come and help them. Uh, we start off with a uh, patrol detachment, if I can say. Uh, that's going to be led by the Sloppity Bar Piper. Uh, and he's coming along with 30 Plague Bearers. Flag, musician, the works. Everything. So that's the patrol. And then we've got a, if we can get it right, a Vanguard, because beasts are elite. That's led by a Poxbringer and four individual beasts of Nurgle. So for a bit of objective grabbing, Could be a bit, bit of quick response, because yeah. we all know how impossible beasts of Nurgle are to kill, especially with land raiders and las cannons. Uh, and that is my list. Um, that is just, it's actually only 1,983 points, but I've got enough to spend 17 points on. Do you want to say one of your knights has got a melter? You're probably better with a stubber against me anyway. Yeah, stub, stubber for the range yeah. and the more shots. Yeah. Um, but that's that. So my list, obviously a lot quicker, but then three models of that are best part of a thousand points. So, yeah. Um, 
I've never played with knights before. I've never played with Nurgle demons before. I have done some homework, but I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do something more of a delay in action before you know it really gets messy. But we'll see how it goes. A lot of this all will help you. I think they do well. It's yeah. quite a forgiving army, I think. Yeah, Very well, durable. There's a reason they're called easy mode when you're playing with knights. Mm. And they, they really are. Fun mode. That's just the entire internet you just triggered. <laughs> Okay, so here we are on this, what we're going to call it, LGT style battle map it's terrain. A, it's an old imperial world that's, uh, there's a beacon going off somewhere. Somewhere. Some blips, some blips. So, the mission is called What's Yours Is Mine. So there's five objectives. The centre one is the centre one. So Tank's kindly brought his own, uh, what are they, are they literally ITC they're objective 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 markers. Yeah, they're just uh, <laughs> big, big objective, markers. objective markers. So yeah, so, so it is three inches from the center, effectively. Yeah. yeah. Um, so if, you, if you're on the map, you're on the objective. Yeah, which is perfectly yeah. sense. Makes sense. So uh, the, number one stays where it is, and then you place the odd ones, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. So, so got... I chose this one. Yep. For the one that I placed anywhere, and this one for the one in Neil's deployment zone. Yep. So uh, the the basically the bonus point is if, if Tank holds both of those and then Neil placed that one number two which is there yep. and number four, and number which, four is which is there which one has to be in each other's deployment zone right mm -hmm. cool and your bonus point is if you uh, the same player holds their base of the ones they placed the ones you placed yeah. yeah so that's the bonus point other than that it's ITC as normal so hold one kill one hold more kill more and then the bonus as we've just explained so Neil um, let's do your deployment because we'll go into whatever tank's done next so I so, have deployed everything yes so you actually lost the roll off I actually yes lost but deployed first and gets the choice of going yeah. first better to lose the roll off Correct, yeah. yeah. In, in this one, yeah, because obviously the missions now, how they work, is if you roll uh, an odd number, oh, it's on. the old style. In ITC, if you choose to deploy first, you have to go first. Oh, that's So it's not even, it saves you <laughs> a decision. Yeah, we're just having a discussion we're over that. an R in, but... Yeah. yeah, so we'll explain what Tank does in a second with his. So, Neil, do you want to go through where your stuff is? So, as the three knights, they're yep. obviously all the same. The one that's a bit more blinged up, he is the Warlord Knight. This so one he's here, got yeah. the leadership debuff AoE um, and also the lacking or the reducing charge AoE bubble as well. Yep. Um, we've got a beast down here that's just sat on the objective. Yep. Three beasts. Yep, because they're all individual just, as well. Just lining the front up a bit, just in case I need to react. Yep. Uh, a long line of all 30 plate bearers, so there's going to yep. be no sneaky three inch deep strikes. Oh, in just to mention lines. as well, it was spearhead assault, wasn't it? The, uh, yes, the, the, the hammer and anvil with a point. Yep, point, yeah, the point hammer and anvil. Uh, slop to bar pipers down here as well. Okay. And so is the pox bringer. The pox bringer, I forgot to mention, is psychic power. He has got miasma of pestilence. Yeah, minus one to hit. One to hit which yeah. I think you'd have guessed anyway. Yeah, yeah, because then that makes the play bears minus two, then none yeah, tips exactly. the more than 20 and, and um, whatnot. And that's it. I have nothing in reserve because I don't want the chance. Because you've got three big knights on the table. Well, I don't want to get sort of crowded <laughs> off the table because if they sort of True. spread out enough, I'm not going to be able to cut yeah. down anywhere. So. so, speaking of tanks deployment, we have casino chips. He's gambling. The right way up this time. <laughs> so, tank, 
What have you done? Okay, so <laughs> I'll go through my, my free game points. So we ha start. yes, Tank's basically got an entire show to himself this first bit. So okay, take so it my, away. My warlord is my bladed cog patriarch. Yep. I'm, I'm just gonna go off and have kids. <laughs> <laughs> He takes a warlord trait, I forget what it's called, but it's basically the guard old grudges, yep. which lets units within six of him of the same chapter, um, bladed cog units within six, reroll to wound against one unit that I pick after yep. the deployment before the game starts. Um, and I'll be picking the plague bearers. The plague bearers, yeah, which makes sense. So now, there's lots of them to kill. I started with 18 command points. I've spent one on the Deliverance Brood Surge Vigilist Detachment. Yep. One on the Anointed Throng uh, Vigilist Detachment. Yep. I've, I've, for my one relic, I've given the Kelamorph the Relic Pistol, yep. which is a bit better, that's free. And I've also bought, spent a command point to buy the Crouchling on my um, yep. Magus's Familiar. He's Gollum, right? Yeah, Gollum. He. Um, he gives him plus one to cast, yeah. in addition to what normal familiars do. And then I've spent a fourth command point mm -hmm. on a stratagem called Brood Coven, um, and it allows me to give Warlord traits to the Primus and the Magus in the army. So I've given the Primus one, which uh, increases the range of his auras by three, mm -hmm. which is handy. Yeah. Um, and I've given the Magus one, again, I forget what they're called, I'm sorry. It's a four-armed Emperor trait. Uh, it gives him a free reroll once per game, or a unit within six of him, uh, and it also gives you D3 command points. Yeah, which, so which you've already rolled so as well, haven't you? We so rolled that, and I was jammy. I got you've three. got three, yeah. So I'm starting with 17, which are on here. 17. So you spent one CP basically for all of that stuff. Yeah, that's it's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, so is so that? Yeah, deployment. So that's um, all the pre-game stuff, and then the way we've got. Steal a Colts works. Um, you either put units in reserve. Yep. Um, or you put units down as blips. Yep. Um, Which are all these? Hooters, so you have to have more. Or? You have to have. To basically, you need to have good admin as a GSC player. Yeah. So there you go. I tend, to, I tend to put my blips here. So I've got eleven blips and more than half my points, and then ten things that are in deep strike. Yep. Um, and there's obviously stratagems which we'll see which lets yep. me take stuff off again. So obviously Tank's not really going to reveal where anything yeah. is because he doesn't do that anyway. Yeah, you don't have to say what each yeah. blip is. It's just a blip, isn't it? That. It's just that uh, each unit has, there needs to be a blip for each unit. Okay. But obviously I've got, I'm putting the blips down thinking I'll yeah. probably put this thing here. So we've got one here, there's five in there? Uh, five in there. Five in there, one there. And, and four in this room. Four there. around there. Yep, so they can come anywhere within six inches of those blips, they is that have right? To, yeah, they, they've, one of the models has got to be within an inch, yep. and the whole unit's got to be within six. Okay, so they can just string out. Yeah. Cool, okay, so that's that's the deployment, kind of, for Tank and all the pre-game admin. Um, Neil, have you finished making kids? They were twins. <coughs> Excellent. Are they, are they 97 year old now as well? Something like that. Okay, um, do you want to go for, oh, you have to go first, don't you? I actually do think I want to go first anyway, okay. I think about it. Did we go through the secondaries, by the way? Oh, no, yeah. So oh, yeah, secondaries. secondaries, Neil. Do you know what you are? We'll be back to have some more kits. <laughs> uh, right, so I've gone for Reaper, which is kill 20 models. Yeah. Uh, I've yep. gone for Butcher's Bill, which is kill two units. Now, yep. a lot two of units a turn into it. Squads, yep. so everything's squishy. Uh, and old school, because it's I don't think of anything else to do. I'm not going to get anything like Recon, because obviously I'm not going to be moving much. Mm. So. Uh, Tang, what did you go for? Uh, so I have gone for engineers, yep. which I nominate two units. I've done my purple elastic band and orange elastic band yep. uh, brood bros. <laughs> Those loom bands. So if they <laughs> brood bros, if they if they start and finish a turn on, on an objective yep. and don't, they can't do anything. They're not allowed they? to shoot or fight. Yep. Uh, you get a point. Uh, I've gone Titan Slayer, so yeah, I, for yeah, obvious reasons. Yeah, I get a point for every eight wounds I do on a knight. Yeah, which you can max out on one. It doesn't stack with Kingslayer though, so it'll just be on these two. On the yeah, on the two non warlord ones, yeah. Um, Let's be honest, you're gonna want to kill all three anyway. So then I've got Kingslayer where which is the one. I'll basically get four points if I can kill him. Yeah. So. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay, so um so that that's the secondaries, that's the board. It's ITC, it's two thousand points. Tank, what'd you like to seize? 
I would like to see his. Oh, he's going for it. Go on then, roll it on this one here for me if you can. Should you pumpkin latte? Do it. Oh, he has as well. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> so, Gene Stiller cult, turn one, oh, coming up next. Okay, so after Tank stole, you naughty man. Um, do you want to talk us through what's appeared and what you've done? Because you've actually, you've actually done quite a lot. I mean, obviously you guys on the top down have been able to see what's gone off. Yeah, so but, what, what so I did, I spent a command point um, to return up to fle uh, free blips yep. back into reserves. And I call them like super reserves because um, because they've been on the table they can come in past turn three, past turn three which yeah. some games it can be handy. Yeah. So I return, I basically picked up one unit of aberrants, yep. uh, my flamer bomb, and um, my helix patriarch, mm -hmm. um, and then we deployed a unit of aberrants with the magus um, and two squads of guardsmen here. Yeah. Two two squads of bros. Two squads of blood bro blood bros. Um, and then in the back corner here, yep. we've we've got the Nexus, who's yep. like the CP the map boy. He's like the master planner, and we've got our two engineer squads. Yep, we'll be hoping to engineer. Basically, just tried to stay out of foreseeable line of sight. Yeah. Oh, and we spent a command point on return to the shadows. Yep. And the Primus went back into reserve as well. Cool. So you've got eleven plus your. Th Three you picked 15. up, so, yeah. so I'm He's down to. Oh, yeah. no, I'm <laughs> not, I mean, not not the CP. I mean the units in reserve. <laughs> yeah, so I've probably you've got thirteen I've got in two, reserve. Three, four, five. I've got seven on the table now. Yeah, uh, right. I've probably got about fifteen hundred points in reserve at this point. Got a lot to shoot at Neil. <laughs> at least I've got something I can shoot with. Yeah, that's true. Low score in turn for me. I, yeah. So is that literally your turn, isn't it? Do you have yeah. any psychic phase to do? Um, there's nothing that's worth me doing. Yeah, yours are all quite offensive, aren't they? Yeah. You're attacking. I've yeah. got one psychic. There's nothing really good he can do. Okay, so um, that was a quick turn for Gene Steel. So Colts. all I get is I get hold one here. And You'll get it. hold one, yeah, but no kill one. So. That was a quick roundup of the Gene Stiller turn. So it looked like a long turn on the camera, but it wasn't. <laughs> so Neil, it's your turn one. It is. Do you know what you're doing? Yeah, and it's probably gonna be very quick. Yeah. Okay, so um, turn one for the Chaos Knights and Smelly Boys coming up next. Okay, so um Are your iron storms out of range? No. Do you not want to shoot them? 72. Do you not want to shoot them? This is just removal phase. Oh. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll, we'll get, get there. It. We'll get there. Right, okay, so um Chaos Knights and Smelly Boys. What have you done, Neil? Not very so, much by the looks of it. Pre game? Yeah. I've spent a few CP. You have. I've put two CP for Vale of Dominance. Yeah. This guy. What Which is I... can't be wounded on four or more. No, so basically anything that's a ro unmodified roll of a one, two, or three fails regardless of what it's doing or mm -hmm. ability. So just fails. Okay. And um, that's two CP, so that's on the Warlord Knight. Yep. This guy, for one CP, has gone for the Vow of Carnage. 
Okay. What that lets him do is every 10 models he kills, of yep. any model, gives him an extra attack. So there's nice. a bit of bookkeeping on my side. Stomp, because that's in shooting yeah. as well as combat that's as well. Any into any models he yeah. kills. So that's good. That's, that'd be quite good with like a, a double Gatlin one. Perfect. Shoot shoot lots of models and then go and kick something to death. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the, nothing back here has moved. These two both advanced. They yep. both got two. Um, so I'm pushing my net out a little bit. I was hoping to run onto objective one, but yeah, I mean, went to be. Yeah. Um, there's one. Uh, the there's beast that was here has run deck round. Right, yeah, because obviously beasts can't go through ruins. So. No, they can't. Though. Um, and that essentially is it. Right. Okay. Um, you do have a psychic phase. I do. Would you like to start with uh, the psychic phase? Yes. Cool. So we'll just get a little little bit of a cut. Help Mike out with this editing here. Nah, forget it. Carry on. So I'm basically <laughs> going to cast Miasma of Pestilence on the on players. the smelly boys. I know there's some flamers coming in, but that's one unit. Yep. So it is. I, th I think it's a seven. Might be a seven. I think most of Nurgle's powers are seven. I'll check. Because that is their number, you know, Neil. Seven. Seven. Probably Nurgle's number seven. Tank, did you know Nurgle's number seven? Mm -hmm. <laughs> did you though? Yeah, uh, it's actually Warp Charge 6. Is, oh, is it? Well, it's actually Karn is 8. Karn's 8. Zine, she's 9. Yep, Slanesh. Slanesh, does he have a number? 6. 6. Yeah. There you go. But it, what, well, yeah, okay. So it's cast. It is cast, so they are so minus, now. an additional minus 1 tick, so already minus 1 tick with being over 20, 20 models. Yeah. yeah. Cool, okay, so. Um, you do have some guns, they are called Iron Spear Rocket Pods. Yes. So we'll get to that now. Um, oh. So. 72. Okay. 72. That, these iron storms? Yes. Yeah. yeah, that was one of the things I was double checking because I thought they say 48 on the yeah, bits. They're all in easy. Yeah. yeah, so 72 inch on the iron storm. Neil's base. <laughs> There you go. They, they can shoot. Thanks the, for uh, checking his They can shoot in Mikey's living room. They can room. shoot in Mikey's <laughs> living room. So, um, you basically got three and they're all going at the bros. Yes. So, which would you like to fire all at the same time? This guy's got to go on his own because I've got to keep a tally of his kills. Correct. Go for um, it. So, he's D6 shots. Is that's, two. that's two shots, Neil. I'm liking these twos today, apparently. Um, so three's tip. One, one hit. hit. Uh, and that's another two. Oh, wound. Minus one. Uh, so I get a six up bro save. No, uh, one not death. quite a bro that's save. So he has killed one model. Cool. We'll, uh, we'll put them things on in a bit. I'll do yep. the other two together because these don't make any difference. Cool. Four, four. Neil, do you know what that is? That's, nice rolling. that's two twos. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wear a tutu at this rate. <laughs> oh dear. Um, two hits. Neil, that's two. Two hits. <laughs> I'm on one wound. Guess what, Neil? You're all the number two. <laughs> Dead dude. Oh my god. Do you know what, Neil? That's two bros you've killed. You know Congratulations. Said, if, my <laughs> die, if the dice don't let me down, this could be a good game. Okay, uh, no charges, I'm assuming. Uh, not today. Okay, so. Uh, bros are leadership eight, so they're cool. Bros are cool. Okay, so points wise, you both hold one. I hold. I actually you actually hold more, yeah, so, so you'll get the hold more. Mm -hmm. You Neither of you killed anything or kill more. So Neil gets hold and hold more. Yep. Um, and that is it for points. So it's 2 1 to the Chaos Knights and Smelly Boys. That probably with turn seven very, very quickly. <laughs> yeah. So, Gene Stealer Cult, turn two, coming up next. I expect there's going to be more stuff on the board tank. Maybe. Maybe, okay. We'll so, we'll see. Okay, so turn two, coming up next.
Okay, so the ambush has been sprung, Tank. Okay, so we've done our we've done our normal movement. Yeah. Um, so all the normal movement's been done, and then we're just doing these, we're just sorting are, the deep strike. So, so these um, bros. These guys are just huddled and hid a bit more. Yep. Uh, one's got in cover. Yeah. Uh, these have just like moved around to get on the objective. Cool. And also, some have jumped up to let the aberrants through. Yep. So the black and the green bros. Yeah. Uh, the aberrants have advanced. Disappointingly, got a one. Yeah. With a reroll, uh, but because of helix, I get plus two. So they're within like six or seven of these. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a six inch charge to that. And we'll be looking to maybe try and hug these, maybe, so I yep. can't be shot. Um, now I've brought these in. I've paid two command points for lying in wait, yep. and a further three for um, being able to like, shoot now, aren't you? Yeah. So, so I will be bringing in more reserves. Yeah. But these with the perfect am with because of the perfect ambush, they shoot as soon as they hit the table. Yeah. So we're going to shoot these now because depending on where Neil pulls, you his can bring more from, stuff in. Yeah. It'll influence where I put the rest. Yeah, makes sense. So okay. So we'll let Tank get his dice for those flamers, and we'll be back in a sec. Six. So here we go. So 18d6. Okay. 6, 12. Okay, we'll be back in a sec when he's counting how many we've got. <laughs> okay, so we, we got 66 hits. We're going to do 322s. Yeah, 322s. So we're going to do these in 322s just because the tank hasn't okay. got the hands for it. We're doing on fives. <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah, they are strength three, aren't they? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven wounds so far. That's okay. half, that's amazing. That, yeah, that's really, really so good. That's it. Can we say 11? eleven so far, yeah. Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 20, 24, 25. 25 wounds. Yeah. So Neil's got a dilemma now. Does he pull them from here or so I can get yeah. stuff more in here? Or does he because you, you can then leave your gaps, can't you? Which is a See, thing. I've got a response to that dilemma. I'm going to make all my saves. So you've got a, no. effectively five re rollable saves. Neil. Plague bearers can do that. So, so here we go. Five ups. Uh, Made one. Three. Three. <laughs> Mate, that's awful. You've seen my dice rolling before, haven't you? You've now got. Keep those got, dice away from my ones. <sighs> You've now got. Um, dice in <laughs> disgustingly so, resilient. Well, at least it's not killed the whole squad. <laughs> wow. Okay, go for it. That's yeah, a little bit better. So it's three, four. Okay, so after all Neil's saves, um, he, he did manage to lose 13 of them. Sorry, the battery died there. Um, yeah. Better discuss and resilient, but terrible in run rolling. You're welcome. <laughs> so we'll, let, we'll let, let Neil pull his uh, 13 smelly burnt dead boys. Um, we'll be back with Tank's... Well, the rest of Tank's movement. Right, okay, so, um, and then the tank's movement. We've already obviously gone through the bits, what were going off. Uh, okay, so these bits came in and flamed and yep. had a good, quite good turn of shooting. Um, they can shoot again in the shooting phase and they will in a minute. Yeah. Um, all my bladed cog stuff's come in here. Yep, all string down. Crawl out the sewers and stuff. Yeah. Uh, the Kelomorphs come in within 12 of this character. Do we try and pop him? Uh, the sniper, the sniper as well. Um, the Patriarch's here to make all this fearless. Yep. Uh, what I've done, we've put one mining laser from each squad at the front. Yeah. Because uh, the two things I kill last will be the lasers. So the, there's two at the front and two within 24 
but near the back within six inches of him so everything here is yeah, fearless, fearless yeah. and we've put the webbers within 16 of the plague bearers yeah if there's any left because they um, they're gonna get flamed again cool okay so do you want to roll straight into your psychic phase uh yes please so um do you know what you're doing and what you're casting uh, i do so we're cool. gonna do um psychic stimulus on these yep. which needs a six okay uh, this allows it to advance and charge right yeah and he's got a plus one okay so, it on a nine, ten. Yeah, and he's out of deny range. He so. is, yeah. So, so these guys can charge now. Yep, go. Cool. Um, this guy is probably out of range for anything useful. Um, Do you want a minute? No. No, good. We'll try and put, um, in case he charges these, we'll try and put might from beyond on them. Okay. Uh, which which does go off on the perils. Rolls. CP um, reroll or No, I'll just take the hit. Okay. Neil was out of three. I think so you yeah. are take it anyway. Wow, you've done more damage to yourself than I've managed already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, take that. <laughs> yeah. No more psychics on the field. Okay. So um that's the psychic phase done. We'll get back to the shooting phase. Okay, so we didn't record it again because it was basically the same as the first time, uh, apart from you only lost six this time, Neil. Yeah, so the played, Flamers... Played Warp Surge on him, so they've got um, yep. four up in for the rest of the shooting phase. Yeah, so there's not much left, but they are still there. The screen is holding. It's holding firm. Right, okay, Tank, Kelomorph. what have we got? Kelomorph is going to shoot Sloppity. We've got some snipey snipies on Sloppity Sloppity. Okay, Go so for it. I'll do his pistols one at a time. Yes, he's got a relic one, hasn't he? Yeah, well. I'll, I'll do his crap one. For one of his crap ones. Yep. He hits on. Has he got a minus on him? No. Okay, so he hits on twos. Yep. So one hit. Uh, toughness four. So it'd be toughness one wound. Five. Sloppity. Yeah, he's toughness the, uh, five. Yeah. Toughness five for the Nurgle. All right, sweet. Uh, so no wound. Yep. Can we check that. I don't remember. Yeah, of course So we're back in a sec. So yeah, is slop five. Is toughness oh, five. Wrong. Yeah. So yep. I get one extra hit because for every successful hit, yeah. he gets another shot. Need a five. Nope. No. No. Uh, we'll do his second pistol. Um, how many times does he? Sh he's got three pistols. Yeah, I mean, but how many times does he get to do the? It's uh, the amount of shots. Ability. Every time. Okay. He, yeah. Uh, so one, one hit. hit. Yeah. Uh, one doesn't wound. Mean, any well, AP doesn't matter because he's got five pinball. That's uh, two damage. So disgusting, resilient. He Doesn't. obviously fails, <laughs> so he's down um, to two. Then he gets another shot. Yep. Of his ability hits. Doesn't wound. Doesn't wound. Um, now I actually need a model to pop his ability, so I'm going to shoot him at plague bearers okay. with, with his last pistol, which has got three shots. Yeah, which is his relic one. So there's a minus one to hit because of yeah. Uh, minus, no? So they all hit because he's got two ballistic yep. skill. Yep. Uh, wounding on fours. Yep. Two wounds. So two four up in runs. Fails Ooh, one. Fails one. Two damage. So disgusting resilient for one plate bearer. Makes it. Gets another three shots luckily. <laughs> <laughs> uh, only two wounds if you can do it again. So four ups again. No. No. Well, four of those. Again. First one. He's alive. Oh my god. You've got another one though. Got another one. Yeah, oh, there's another wounds, one as well. Yeah. No, uh, disgusting resilience. Saves and, it. and an extra one because it's oh. two damage. Oh my god! Okay. Oh, we want to see what the Kelomorph did, Neil. Yeah. So that's what he does. Kelomorph rubbish. <laughs> uh, this sniper into this character. Yep. The sloppity. Uh, just one shot. Oops. Oops. That doesn't sound healthy. Was well, that your tray? Oh, With that's, models that's on that's it. Broken models. Oh well. oh well. We'll fix it in a minute. Okay. Um, Oops. So it's Jack it's one shot. Atal and Jackal. Yep. Um, Hits. She takes a heavy penalty, so she's freeze, which become oh freeze hit. He's got no modifier. Yeah, no yep. modifiers on. Uh, needs a five. Doesn't she get it. Okay. Okay. So um, green squad. We're gonna go mining laser in here. Yep. Um, Webbers into plague bearers. Yep. Okay. And all the auto guns into. It's gonna be plague bearers or beasts. Or yeah, beasts. we'll go plague bearers. Okay, okay. So, do you want to roll your mining laser at the night? Yeah, two mining lasers. Beep, beep. Um, she's making the the night the priority target, so they get plus one to hit against it. Yep. So it's freeze, but that's a miss, obviously. Yep. Um, the Weathers. webbers, two d three shots on the plague bearers, four shots. Nice. Auto hit, strength four, wounded on fours. 
two, three. Three wounds. Oh, three wounds. Mm. No AP. So four pin bombs. It's what makes one. The one damage a piece. Uh, yeah. Two Just disgust one. and resilience. It fails one. Yeah. Stupid game. Try and roll them here, Neil, so I can actually get them. <laughs> this here, look. This this section. This sector here. Where this I'm gonna start rolling them down here. Till pizza places. Okay, cool. so auto guns, I'm not gonna bother rapid fire, I'm just gonna say they're all single. Yeah. I can't be bothered. <laughs> uh, so they'll be hitting on Three, fives. Minus one, yeah. Minus one. But they only get plus one against the knight. Right, got so you. So two hits. I, I oh yeah, because the guards been shooting effectively, yeah. aren't they? One wound. One wound. That's better, Neil. You, you failed though, mate. It's not better then, is it? No. Nope. Uh, I'll five save. up disgust and resilient. No. Nope. See, I can make four of them. I don't want to roll in the middle of the table, it's rubbish. <laughs> so, second second unit. Same same jazz. Uh, second unit, two last cannons. Pew, pew. Two hits. Two hits that time. No wounds, no though. No wounds. Um, Do you get reroll ones on wounds for something? No. Or is that not Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Right. Uh, the Webbers, uh, two wounds. Uh, two, oh, sorry, two, I need to roll number of shots yeah, first. So, so three, three shots. shots. One wound. wound. Uh, four up. Come on! Yeah, it makes it. Uh, I'll storm it. My auto cannons, uh, auto guns, uh, hitting on fives, wounding on fives. Uh, two, two wounds. Two wounds, Neil. And these are onto the plate bearers. Plate bearers again, yeah. Makes Saves them it. both. Neil, what's Neil's going on? on? Fire. I don't I've, like got to, I've got to roll some good dice at some point. Third <laughs> unit. Yeah. Uh, last cannons. One no hit. hit. One hit. Yeah, plus one's hit. Mark. And one a wound. wound. Uh, Five up in vulnerable. Oh my god. <laughs> who, who is this person? I feel sick. <laughs> uh, Weber's free four shots. Yep. Oh, dice everywhere. Uh, no wounds. No wounds. Okay. Uh, auto guns. Two hits again. Two hits. Uh, no wounds. Hank, what's going on? Uh, nails being jammy. <laughs> uh, two last cannons. No oh hits. my god. I think um, it's a mixture. Weber's. Uh, three, three. Uh, three wounds. Um, two uh, disgusting. So one dies. Uh, I mean, they, they pretty much disappear in these play barriers. Auto right? guns. They are being eradicated by flame, so it makes sense. Yeah. That's how you get rid of bacteria. Uh, one wound from an auto gun. From a plate on a plague. Four up. Makes, makes it. it. Uh, then we've got one unit left. Last cannons. Boom, boom. One and hit. One hit. No wound. Uh, two Webbers. That's three uh, and a five. five. Cool, nice. Uh, two one. Two wounds. Two. I extra four, didn't I? And no saves. Ooh, fails both. Disgusting resilient. Fails both. Ooh, so that's another two. Two more. Nice and cool enough. That's it. Also guns, um, fives. One. And not a wound. Tank, you've rolled lots of ones to wound, mate. Yeah, it happens. It's a dice game. That's it's because it. I'm stood next to him. This is true. He's rubbed off on you. <laughs> Literally. Right, is that it? So they've got a big leadership test to take. They've got a massive leadership and test to take. You do have that. This is If you see Pete, it is. That's what, it's, that's what she's thinking, isn't it? Uh, if right. you, so. Well, they might run away. If so you, you've block, you've got one charge, haven't you? Which is this one here into the beasties. Yeah, one charge. I have no. So, so no, you don't. You don't shoot. Yeah, they don't get a so there, we'll be back when tanks declared his charges. Yeah. Okay. So tanks declared the aberrants uh, charging the beast, the beast of Nurgle. I need to pick something. So we need um, a six-inch charge because it is just over six. Do you want me to bless those dice for your charge? I'm a bit freaked out about my rolling. I'm I'm stand, always, uh, stand it's superstitious. Close. I'm, I'm having to go for, for some of my special dice. Do you want to borrow some of mine? My Canada and my Space Wolf one. Here we go. And it worked. Oh, it's enough. So seven inch uh, charge. I'm gonna use his once again re-roll on the one. Yep. And get a four, so it's a ten, ten inch charge. Gives me a bit more wiggle room. So yeah. we'll let Tank move them in and then we'll be back in a second. Okay, so Tank Wee's janky charge. Yeah, uh, we we got the ten inch charge. Yeah. Um we've been pretty janky. Um these guys can hurriedly intervene. So we've stayed three inches away from this guy. Yeah. We're, we're in coherency. But he's the only one within an inch of him. To fight, yeah. And these guys are all more than an inch away, so yep. they can't fight. Yeah. Because I don't want to kill this. Yeah, it's just one guy that can fight. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to hug it. No, yep. you're not, not going to kill it. So, you're not going to shot next turn. Okay, so one guy fighting a beast. Okay, and... so I'm going to activate and do my piling. Yep. Um, so this guy is obviously already in, and. 
you're going to get within an inch of the other guy if you want. Yeah, you're going to be able to swing at me regardless anyway. But I wanted to stay away for, because if I'd have gone within three and you'd have gone like that, it would have stopped me stop from, me from moving doing now. my junky shit. To be yeah. honest, I'd have probably moved in that way. Yeah. Both an escape route. So I'm staying more than an inch away from this guy. Yeah. Because I, I only want one guy to swing at him. But tugging. Tugging and hugging. But yeah, um, I've got a guy on the other side of that wall. Yeah, with it, with it. So you've got the two guys with the stop signs uh, just chilling. And the then exit. this guy is hopefully going to try and chill on this objective. Yep, yep, because you are in on holding the one currently. So, okay, Tank, do you want to do your one attack <laughs> with okay. that big unit? So that was my piling. Yep. Um, so they all moved and finished closer to him. Yep. Um, so he's just got uh, three attacks. You yep. could actually kill him, which would be yeah, bad. Yeah, because the two two damage each on. Yeah. Um, so it, well, there you good. go, that'll work. So he's messed with all his rending cards. So yeah, and you get to reroll ones to hit against me. Why? You don't really. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, triple one will do. Just get rending claws as well. Yeah. Uh, so they all hit. Yeah, but they, they can only do one yeah. damage now. Uh, yeah, one wound. One wound. So that's five. The strength five. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So five up in one. Yep. Which he fails. Uh, it's only one wound. Disgusting resilient. No. Takes so two. Takes two. Down. So he's down uh, to four wounds. And I'll consolidate. And go and trap. Blah, 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 blah. Huggy, huggy. Huggy, hug, hug. So, Neil, do you want to just roll your two attacks together? Because he's not. Six attacks. Yeah. So he'll pile in. Yeah. Yeah, do it both fight. together. And you might as well. So two D six okay. attacks. There. Yeah, two D six attacks. So that is eight attacks. Nice. So you hit. I think you're hitting on fours. I am hitting on fours. Yep. Some attacks. Yeah. Decent. And then wounding on. For fours? Strength five, aren't you? You are. Uh, Your toughness. I'm strength four. Toughness four. I am strength four. Okay, so still forced to wound. Just make sure. It looked like they'd be stronger than that, don't they? Yeah, big big boys. They are damaged to these, however. So mm, you but you half one. the damage, yeah. So, so three wounds. And uh, no AP though, mate. So I get a five up armor save. Yeah, which you make none of. But they become up, one damage, don't they? Are they two damage? Two damage yeah, each. Yeah. I get a five up feel no pain. Which he passes so one off. I lose an aberrant. Cool. You want to you take that guy out to him, yeah? <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so we'll let Tank pull one of his dudes. We'll kill. I don't think any of these really in it. Yeah. Cool. So that concludes the turn. No, it doesn't. Why, what are you going to do? Morale. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, this is cool. Unlucky. And then I can get my broken models. Right, okay, so Neil is at a minus 14 here. Yep, there's still a Plague Bearer there. There is a Plague Bearer right spotty. there. Yep, so you get to roll two and pick the lowest. So you're not auto-passing? No. no. Don't they run, even if you rolled a if one? If you roll a one, the banner yeah, you automatically passes, passes and, and then get yeah, D6. Reality blinks, so you get D6 models back. So, so he's you, for you a even one. need a one or the gun? Yeah. And with no re-rolls unless I want a CP re-roll yeah. Which is what but, you Because he I knows how vex it. So yeah. I always roll once, so I'm not going to need a re-roll. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's since you've gone ball steep, you may as well CP it, one of them. Yeah, just to make Tank waste his object, uh, his CP. If he wants. Uh, no, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's, it's worth it. I wouldn't have acted to re-roll anyway. It's not because I might need them CP for something else. It's one CP. Yeah, but see, one CP reroll never gets what you want it. Because the only reason I'm thinking Neil is if you don't reroll that, Tank has a decision whether he wants to vect it. I've already decided I'm not. You're not going to vect it even if he rolls a one. Because no, it's. It, mm, I would. I've got five <laughs> CP left. Yeah. I might vect it actually. That's all right. I would just because the reason being if you if you. Roll that one. Yeah, if you re-roll it, I'll vect. Yeah, because it's going to waste three CP a tanked, and it's also wasted the I vet. Want, I want them gone. So. Go on then. I would, personally. Be, it's up to you. I mean, I'd be I'm, pressured I'm, into this, so I'm going to say, yeah, I'll do it. Okay. So, so you, re -roll. So, tank's vecting it anyway. Vect, so you can't re-roll. Is it yeah. automatic? Yeah. yeah it's, 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 oh, no, on a two plus. On a two plus. <laughs> and that means you pay the points for it as well. Yeah, so you will, it does cost you one. It's the, basically the same as vect. So yeah, they are gone, so but it's also cost tank 3, three CP, CP and his Vect, which yeah. again, I mean, do you just want to roll it, see if you would have rolled the one? Just see if it actually mattered? No. no. So again, I think in terms of that, well, it's probably it. better for Neil that, because you've also used his we all had ability. Damage, which is the good news. Yes, the, the, the safe boys, look, they're all alive, we're all good. 
on Tank's lovely uh, magnetised trays there. I mean, in, right. my, in my sort of defence, the plate bearers were there to do exactly that job. Yeah, exactly. So um, it's now opened the screen up for your knights to go and stomp and shoot and yeah, stuff. So. I can't move over me and stuff right, okay. So, um, in terms of scoring, Tank does okay. hold one. So I've got hold. Kill. Kill. I've got hold, yeah. I'm on three. I've got kill. Yeah. It was a hard kill I had to work for it. And I've got an engineers. You do. So that puts you on three. Four. Uh, so it'd be four two to tank now? Three so far. Three so far, okay. Uh, so three I'm, two. I'm looking quite good for hold more as well. Yeah. At the end, so. it, yeah. Exactly that, because Neil's now got to Neil move. Neil should get kill more. Neil probably has to move off two ideally. Oh, really. And he should get Reaper. He should get Reaper. Okay, so, um, turn two for the Chaos Knights and some smattering of smelly boys coming up next. So, the Chaos Knights have moved, because the Plague Bears didn't, well the Plagues didn't. So, what are you done Neil? So, those two have moved up, Yeah. he's gone as far as he can, because he's basically, we're going to, the, the plan is to kill all them shooting, start charging in here, he's walked up here, I'm going to start trying to engage probably with a pink squad, Yep. Um, I couldn't get to there without an advance, and I think I need to be a bit more aggressive as regarding his killing at this point, go proper night play. Yep. He stood wholly on that. Still got dudes on here. He's come over across a bit for a bit of a sneaky charge if needs be. Mm -hmm. um, that's basically it. Slopped, he's gone in corner. He's got so he can just see the corner of this unit for a bit of a smite. Yep. And that's really it. Yeah, um, there's not much you can really do there, is apart from run at it basically. and see what happens. Okay, so um, that's Neil's movement. Um, we'll come back. Do you know what you're shooting? Oh, you got psychic first. So, do you want to drop your smite first? So, you might as well go straight into that. So, on a five. Yep. I'll try and do that. He oh, should still be out. He should be out because I moved out. Oh, oh sorry, me. Oh, I didn't move. Let's just double check. Deny you. I'm in. Yeah, he's in. So that does deny on a nine. Okay. Okay. So that's psychic done. We'll be back when Neil's declared his targets. Um. Okay. Right, so um, Neil's employed a stratagem. I have. Trail of Destruction. Yeah. On him. I actually believe this is out of the old chapter approved. It is, it was the Yeah, it's the chapter approved one, isn't it? So it's reroll failed hit rolls. Yes. Keyword failed, uh, sorry, reroll hit rolls, not yes. failed hit rolls. So mm. it's basically anything now. Works so, around modifiers. Exactly, I've yeah. not got any, but. And this yeah. is the guy that's keeping his tally for his kills. Yeah. It's really, really good. Tank's just chewing down there on his lunch. <laughs> Man's gotta eat. Man's gotta eat. Okay. So Neil, so, um, where's everything going? So flames are going in there. Yep, as to be expected. Uh, stubbers are going in there. Yep. So two stubbers and a heavy yep. flamer. The battle cannon yes. is going to go in two. We get this right. It's going to be the uh, yellow, because the green guy's first yeah. forward, so I'm going to go for him to so the charge. Into the yellow squad, yep. Yellow squad. Yep. Gatlin yep. is probably... I should probably play safe and put that into the yellow squad as well. Okay. Just for ultimate damage. And then your top gun. And the top gun is going to go for. Um, You're shooting some more bros. We shoot some engineers at the back, I think. Cool. So orange squad, which you've been shooting. It's be so. orange, cool. Take yeah. Okay then. So do you want to do your flamers first? I'm That's not the easiest one. Because my dice are rolling terribly. All right, well, you roll, roll it here then. So flame, a decent shots. Two. It's just as bad here, Neil. That's, in, that's another two. Hey, don't come at me after the men bones before. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, um, three's to wound. It's two two wounds at minus one, one tank. Uh, six ups. No, that's six. two of the. Uh, what are they actually called? The hybrids, aren't they? Um, Those ones. They're acolytes. Acolytes, that's it. Um, so, that puts him up to three for his tally. Yep, which is also, yeah, the, the, count, the county boy, isn't he? Yeah. Um, two stubbers, so yep, these are threes re rolling. Yep. Nice. That's four sixes, Neil. Yeah, what, what's happening? It's because over here is much better for rolling dice. Right, okay. Um, three's to wounds. Uh, that is three wounds. Three wounds, mate. No minus on this one. Five ups. Uh, Drops one. Is. Nice. Then you've got the battle cannon so into the, the orange cannon. squad. 2d6 shots for 10 shots. Uh, 
Right, so threes, <laughs> re-rolling three everything. Ah, oh, there's Neil. Ones and twos. And re-roll. So that is all hit. Yep. Twos to kill. Six of them I've got. Oh, yeah. 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 From the, yeah, uh, the uh, bladed cog. Bladed cog ones, uh, yeah. Twos. So that is nine wounds. Yep. So nine six ups required. I, I I'll I get you two. Yeah. No, uh, no, it's not. That's nine. That's everyone but probably a last everyone, cannon. Everyone but one, yeah. Okay. I've got the Gatling to go. And then we've got the Gatling at the same squad. Yeah. Oops. I wanted to make sure. Have you just broke another one? Oh no, uh, the magnetizers are all sticking together. Don't leave me! You just carry on, I'll do this. Yeah. Cool, so we've got um, 12, 12 shots, shots with the Gatling cannon. So that should be 10. Two more. I'm pretty confident this is going to kill this guy. Should. Um, well. I well, should. You still should. Maybe. We'll think about it. That's one miss, so 11 hits. Yep. Twos. Yeah, you're toughest three, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Guardsman. Um, so that is 10, 9 <laughs> wounds. Do you want to roll which 9 squad, wounds, mate? Which squad was this? Sorry. The same squad. You should have one guy left. Oh, no, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. That's, that's also a kill. Yep. Which is kind of important for the killing more. Yeah. You, you should have. Now I've tied. D6 for the missile at the engineers. At the orange bros, yep. Yeah. So I get six. six shots. I was expecting a two there, as was everybody else. Yeah. Uh, three is re-rolling. That's cocked. Yep. Yeah. And then re-roll the one. Re-roll that one. Uh, I'm sorry, Tank. I don't know who this person is. This is the squad that's not <laughs> cover as well, into. Yeah, the bros. Yeah. So it won't matter anyway. One, five wounds. Five. Minus one. He's a pretty good roller. He just makes a drama when he does the odd back. <laughs> um, so so matters. Is it minus one? It's minus one, yeah. So yeah. I'm on six, six ups. Because the orange is out in cover. Mm. Uh, so I'll lose Drops four. Hmm, so interesting. Two ones there. So he's actually gone over ten then. Yep, so he gets an extra attack. Yeah. Okay. So that's that night complete. Um, we'll just cut. some more guns on there somewhere. No, we'll let Neil uh, pick his next target. I already... Oh, yeah, I've got one. Okay, so it's the Warlord's turn this time. This one isn't re-rolling. Nope. We're basically the same, but we're targeting the unbanded ones on this yeah, in so, this squad. So it's a bit of the same again. Flame yep. and stubber into them. Yep. Gatler and battle cannon into the unbanded. Yep. And then the missiles up into, and over into the orange bros. Yeah. Cool. Um, Go for it. What do you want to do first? So I'll do flamer first. Yep. So, so d six shots. Two. two. There we go. That's the two I was expecting last time. Threes. Two wounds. Two wounds. Uh, uh, two dead. Two dead. And then two stubbers. Yep. So threes. So Not re-rolling this time. Threes again. Uh, four wounds. Four wounds. Uh, five wounds. Oh, uh, lose, lose three. Lose, lose three this time. Okay. Do you want to do the missile? Yeah, missile over the top. Up and at them. Five. Five. Only five left. So these are into the orange bros. Not re-rolling this time. But that is four hits. Four hits and threes to wound. That is three, three wounds, wounds minus one. Six ups. Mm. At least two more. Mm. Not bad. And the rest are in cover now. So. Cool. Uh, so, battle, battle cannon. cannon. 2d6 shots. So this is an unbanded boys. Yep. So six shots. Three to hit. Oh. <coughs> Neil's well, back, guys. Hi. <laughs> Neil's back. Stupid game. He's rolling well generally. They can't all be good. <laughs> one wound. That's yeah, the nature of the dice game. That's Sometimes right. they're bad. So just just one deal wound with it. Minus Sorry, two. what's happening? One wound, mate. On these guys. This is the unbanded. Unbanded. Yeah. One wound. Six up in one. Oh. No. No, it's a dead dude. And 12 shots from the Gatlin. Endless Fury. Not Endless Fury. You wish it was. Just Fury. Just Fury. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's that strat that did it. Mm. You can moan about that, that's pretty yeah. crap. <laughs> that's, that's, that's normal for me, that. Yeah, Deep no, you, wound. you can cry about that one. That is four, four wounds, wounds, mate. Uh, uh, five sixes. sixes makes Three one. Die. Yeah, that actually, that strike is really good thinking about it. I'm actually going to pull from the front, so it makes it's me the, the, harder to get tied up. the unbanded ones. Oh, sorry, mate. Yeah. I figured I can't get around that side for a charge on them. So we'll get rid of... Um, Lazy boy. The first, we'll get rid of the the front one and then. Okay. We'll let Tank pull his uh, Two, casualties out. Three. I'll think about what he's doing. Cool. So knight number three. So Neil, you put him what where? All right. So we're gonna have the um, Gatler and yep. two stubbers into there. Yep. Battle cannon into the unbanded squad. Yep. 
and missiles to finish off that engineer squad cool. if we can. Cool. Gotta imagine seven federals with battle cannons. Yeah. 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 Who even brings a horde? <laughs> <laughs> right, so what's first, mate? Stubberries. Okay, six shots. That is four hits. Four hits. Again, no rerolls because there's no straight item input. Yep. And that is four wounds on these guys. Yep. yep. Five ups. Mix two. <laughs> Decent. Two more boys. They're, they're hanging in their tank. Yeah. Gap into the same Going shift, aren't they? Mm. Ooh, like, oh, Neil, that's, that's bad. That was rubbish. <laughs> Five hits. Have you ever had me rolling dice badly on your bingo card? Take that one off. <laughs> <laughs> Twos. That, that was just as bad. <laughs> Minus two. So be. On these guys. Yeah. yeah. Do they have a six up? No, they're just dead. Okay. So three dead. Three of those boys. The banner's standing aloft. No. Battle cannon into unmarked boys. Yep. Or unbanded, sorry. For eleven. Oh, okay. Yeah, but that's just. But then again, yeah. If that's you... eleven chances to miss. Correct. <laughs> right, so I'll take. Uh, I'll take. Um, I'll him and leave that one there. Yeah, yeah mate. Cool. Uh, so threes. Uh, miss with four of them. Miss with yeah four. And two to wound. So that is should be seven. Seven wounds, yeah. Six, so seven. six ups. Tank makes one, two of them. So five, five, so five unmarked bros. Unmarked bros was that? Yeah. And then we have the missile launcher trying to finish off the back squad of engineers. So uh, how many shots? D six for one. Neil, you can only kill one of them. These two guys left. Yeah, but they can run away now. <laughs> True story. <laughs> you it hit. Hits. At least it hit. Why am I unmarked? And it wounds. Does also wound, but tank is now in cover because of the yeah. the way he's pulled the things out. I'm just trying to one find there. my unmarked bros. <laughs> one there. The tank has that many bros in this army. You don't know where they all are. One in front of the dude. Um, that's your lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There must be more. One there, one there. Oh yeah, I need. I should have two left. So one save on the engineer, which actually saves. Okay, cool. Right, that's Neil shooting. Um, not bad. It's not bad for you actually as well, Tank, because I don't. Terrible. I don't think he achieved what he wanted to achieve. Um, <laughs> though not I'm, as good. Those not dying is good for me. Yes, yeah. it's, it's sort of good for me as well. Yeah, in a way, yeah. It's it was an average turn for both of you, I think. Let's say. Mm. Right. Okay. So um, the charge phase. I'm assuming there is a charge phase. There is a charge phase. Tank, do you want to will up those flamers? Yes, please. Hey, who said I was charging the flamers? You're not going to charge the flamers, Neil. Oh, How, what else are you going to charge, I Neil? Charge the flamers. Don't Unless we can't yeah. charge anything. Else. <laughs> <laughs> so five flamer auto hits. Ooh. Ooh, 18, 19, 22, and 22. <laughs> We're only on sixes, though. You aren't, yeah. But it's better than not shooting them. So twenty-two shots. Neil, do you just want to roll your charge? You're probably not going to die, but do you want to roll it anyway? I'm going to make a prediction. That these flamers will do more wounds than ten last cannons did last turn. Probably. I'm going to say that too. Uh, one, two. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they actually have because you only wounded with one. Yeah. That's a hundred percent increase on damage. Or two saves. Cool. Yeah. Um, uh, make their charge. I mean, you can't fail, but you might. But <laughs> uh, guys, he did actually have a go at failing. I tried, I tried for you, for my loyal fans. The <laughs> beast is also going in. Beast to beast it. Yes, I probably could. Uh, who are you charging, mate? It's going to be the flamers. Okay, so yeah, you get yeah, free yeah. charge. Okay. Uh, five. I think. <laughs> no, it's not. This one. Oh, that beast. Okay. Yeah, he's in. And this beast, he was charging a Did unit as well. Fit. I was almost about to get caught yeah. short and not been able to fit there. If it was a tournament, it would have been a bit of a knobhead and said he doesn't fit, but we don't care. He just breathes in. <laughs> A bit of an offense. Right. Yeah. So this night, I'm yep. going to charge them. Yeah. As a bit of a fail safe. Yep. Purple. Yep. And red. Cool. Okay. So we'll let Tank get his dice because there's quite a lot of Laz cannons and Overwatch coming up. So we'll be back in a sec. So here we go Overwatch, Laz cannons. No. No. Um, <laughs> is there any re rolls in there? For no. Me? Four Webbers. Uh, number of hit. shots, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Decent. Sixes. A wound. One wound. No minus nail. Six Loves hit. it. And then we've uh, got lots of las guns. Laser so. guns. Beep, beep, beep. One hit, two hits, three, three. hits. One wound. Ooh, a wound. That's it. I'm predicting this is a wound. 
Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> well done, Neil. That was your fault, Dan. So the Warlord takes a wound. Well, Tank's got to have some kind of luck today. Yeah, bad luck. Point. He's allowed bad luck. I'll let mm. him have that. <laughs> Right, okay, so um, we've just measured up, so it's a 7 to the Acolytes, yeah. uh, 11 to the pink squad, and sorry, 10 to the pink squad, 11 to the red squad. Yeah. So, um, roll it in here, Neil. Happy thoughts, kill people. 6, so you don't make any charge. Would I you like to reroll the 1? I am going to reroll the 1, because this is... Oh, is that this guy? That's yeah. This guy. I've used my Vect, so there's that coming into play. For that 11. That 11. So you'll make all of the distance. Um, so we'll let Neil push him in and we'll be back with the combat phase. I don't believe there's another charge. Oh, there um, is. There's one more charge, isn't there? Guy. Yeah. We'll make sure I get. So we'll let Neil just measure that up. Okay, um, we didn't bother filming that because the tank just removed them because it was 18. Yeah. Uh, 18 he just foot stomp attacks. Tap danced on the. Uh, yeah. Yeah, those five dudes. Um, so and the beast is consolidated, so he activated next. He's now tagged to the green unit. Yeah, uh, actually, that's the point because he did activate next. Did you want to. Um, I don't want to intervene. No. Okay. Ooh, try to destroy the terrain. So Neil's going with his beast now, so D6 attacks. So he's hitting the pink band pink, squad. Pink band squad. One Three. attack, Neil. <laughs> hitting on fours. It's cock. That's a cock dice. It's it hit. does hit. And wounds three. on three. It's does wound. wound. No HP, mate. Five up. No. Dead dude. One dice. Uh, one die, even. Okay. Um, Stompy Knight with his 15 attacks. So he gets th four base anyway. Mm -hmm. And because he charged, he gets an extra one. Yep. I am going to split these up between the two squads he's in with. Yep. Um, for probably, which they're both the same size, aren't they? So I'm going to go for 12 attacks. So three of me attacks. How many got attacks did you got? So he gets four base attack. and then gets an extra so you one. Two, two, feet, two feet on each. Yeah, but I get yeah. plus one for charging. But yeah. you put your extra one on one or the other, but you, yeah. you can't split a foot. If yes, yeah, yeah. So essentially. Pink cloth one, so why don't you put three on red and two on pink? Yeah. Yes. That's the best thing. That. Make sure you pile into the red as well. Because you're currently not an inch away. That's it. Okay. There you go. So these are the two attacks onto the red. I believe it uh, onto the pink. Yep. To avoid taking. Uh, so threes. And uh, hit us with four. It's going to be straight twos. face and twos. So that's three. Moves with three, mate. Hi, bud. How are you doing? Six up. How many? Three. 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 Mikey distracts me. Two that's one. So Mikey has arrived. Is this pink? Was that pink, mate? That was onto pink. Yep. And then, and then the extra attacks the into extra, red. The other attacks onto the red. Yep. So six hits. Twos again. Twos. That is four, <laughs> four. wounds onto red. Okay. Mm, nearly. Four, so four more on the reds. Um, okay, so that's all of Neil's attacks. Oh, well, it's Neil's well, first choice. So we've got I get one of those. Beasts one of the beasties. So it's up to you, whichever one. I don't think it's going to matter whichever one, but. Um, one of the beasts gets two attacks. Okay. Uh, Here's one. Hits. Hit. Doesn't wound. No strength four. So no. Yeah. Uh, tank, you get your uh, aberrants down there. Yeah. Well, well, it gets choose now. I, it's probably going to be aberrants though. Yeah. yeah. Wounds what? With the beast. Oh, I get to reroll wounds for the beast. Doesn't win. Okay. <laughs> so I'll put the um, I'll put one stop sign onto this. Yeah. I'll put one stop <laughs> sign and a pick onto this guy. Yeah. Uh, and everything else into that guy. Okay. So you've got a stop sign and a pick, stop sign, and four dudes into the other beastie. So I'll do the stop sign on this guy first. Okay. okay. So I'm hitting on freeze. Rubbish. Yeah, that will be bad. Um, I'm strength five. eight, so three wounds. Yeah. Uh, so five. three wounds, uh, five, five pin ones, and uh, flat two. So four down to one wound, uh, and you've got a pick as well. Oh, discus resilient. Discus resilient. Yeah. So I save two, two of those. So I take two wounds. So he's onto three wounds. Uh, then nah, he's got. He's on this one. Yeah. Oh, is it on that one? Yeah. He's got a tail as well, Whoosh. which hits doesn't and wound doesn't no. wound. Say so three, yeah. Yep, and then he's got two uh, pick attacks. Let's do the, the pick guy. Yep. Uh, two hits. One, uh, wound. one wound. So five up. Are they not strength five base? Five, yeah. No, yeah. That's, That's one. one is five, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're strength four, aren't they? Uh, then he's so. rending claws. Yep. With two hits. Uh, one wound. One wound, mate. Uh, five up. Yes. Oh, God damn it, Neil. Neil. It's because the mic is an ogle demon. That's all I can say. Okay, um, <laughs> stop sign. Yep. On the other one. one post. It's a stop sign. It's a stop sign on a one post. Give way sign. <laughs> stop making him one sign. Yield. <laughs> uh, so we have got four, four wounds, wounds mate. which we flat two each, and that go through. 
So saves two. Yep. So which one's this on again? Uh, the, uh, this guy. Yeah, the uh, already damaged one. Five ups. Oh, he's alive. Oh, no, he yeah, he's alive on two. Oh, three uh, wounds. Tail. Hits. Hits. Wounds. D3 Discuss. damage. Three. three. Got the tails better than normal. <laughs> I can't see that. Well, yeah. I can. I don't want to. <laughs> so Beastie dies. Yeah, you've got another like six attacks or six aberrants coming in. So the aberrants have smashed that Beastie up. Yeah, and then I'll just sort of consolidate, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So they've run around there. Okay. Um, I would probably not record what the tank does to a knight because it'll not be very much. I, you're probably not going to pile in that much either, are you? I wouldn't have thought. No, I'll, shall I swing my. Yeah, my so try, try, try and beat try and beat the beastie up. You might have more than. F no, because he's just dead. Did, you, did the beastie just charge the pink? Yes. Yeah. 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 That's why so he's a bit back So it, four attacks, hitting on fours, uh, wounding on fives. No. Uh, okay, so we're back with the aftermath uh, what's left the tank stuff to punch. Uh, shall I pack some shit? Right, okay, so after that combat phase, um, the Orange Bro, this is Tank's little system, it actually works really well to be fair, what died in each turn. So um, the Orange Bros did run away because he failed the morale on a he five. He run away, he just decided he'd had it enough. Just, he'd had enough, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no morale needs to be taken over there because everything's fearless. Yeah. Um, so you both hold, hold one, yep. you both killed one. Yep. Tank holds more, I Neil killed, killed more by one. Yep. Um, you've also done two for um, Butcher's Bill. Yes. And you've also done probably, two for probably done two for Reaper. Reaper as well. Yeah. We're just we'll we're just going to calculate. He will. He'll, whatever happens in this game, he'll max Reaper. Max out on them. Yeah. Um, and so have you, did you get any of your secondaries, Tank? Uh, I got. Um, no, I mean, of it in my turn, I got engineers. Yeah. I yeah. got hold more. So. Hold more. Cool. So you're about equal, aren't you? Is it? Yeah. It's, it's I think I think that kneels up by two. I think, and it currently. But, yeah. yeah. It's like a turn two or three army. Yeah, and you've still got about another thousand troops to come in, yeah, haven't you? I've got quite a lot. Good yeah. I, I also do have another three knights to turn up. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Deep strike reserve, yeah? Yeah. They're, they're coming drop. in the drop pods. They're just holding on to drop pods. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, tanks turn three coming up next. Thingy. Okay, so um, 
Let's have a look what's what's gone on, Tank. So what's going on? Uh, we've just carried on hiding here. Yep. So uh, everything's purple bros sticking engineers, together. Busy They've all just scooched, so everyone's in cover. Yep, they're all so tiptoeing or something. Yeah. Um, These guys. Greens have stayed, have stayed still. Yep. Blacks have advanced just to get an extra body on this objective. Those black bros. Yep. Magus yep. has advanced. Saruman and Gollum. <laughs> Eighteen of this guy. Yeah. Um, the aberrants are in combat, so obviously they're just chilling. Yep. Um, two of my characters have come in. Ah, yeah. Uh, Banner boy. Banner Boy and also Primus. Yep. Uh, and then we've got a squad of 16 acolytes with four rock saws coming oh, yes. nine inches away from this knight. Big Cheney Boy, I just realised um, you can't see out there because there's a big <laughs> wedging way. So, yeah, there they go. Um, and then I've spent three command points to perfect ambush them. Yep, so does that allow them to move D3, D6, D6. towards whatever you want? Yeah, so. You get, one back. get one back. Yep, so because the pr back the Primus right. gets you an uh, on a this, five. It's uh, this guy. Oh, yeah, the map boy. When I spend them, if I've got my Primus on the field, it's plus one plus to one. it. Yep, cool. Um, okay, so, so you this get. Is, uh, I hate this roll, it's like the book clenchy one. Five, that'll five. do. Yeah, five inches. So we'll let Tank move that and we'll uh, see where he ends up in a second. You ready, Tank? Yeah, what, so what's Gandalf and Gollum? Gandalf, not Gandalf. Oh, this yeah. I didn't Saruman. mention that over here, yep. two units have stayed in combat just so I don't have yep. to take Overwatch. Yep. You um, love doing this. Every time we film, we you, you put stuff behind stuff and hug terrain <laughs> so you can't film everything. <laughs> it's a tactical yeah. placement. Yes, yes. Okay. So, it's, it is, to watch Tank play is a good way to watch how to play ITC because, again, it, um, it's how you like to play, isn't it, mate? Mm -hmm. So, right, sorry, mate. So, after I've just blown your own horn there, what, what, um, um, what okay. have we done? So, psychic phase. Yeah. Um, so, Saruman and Gollum. Nearly out to the eye. So, we're going to try and put might from beyond on these, yes. which gives them um, plus one strength and an extra attack. Nice. So, it, it needs a seven. Yeah. Um, and he's got a plus one from the Crouchling. From, yeah. From so Gandalf. It, it, he perils. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. But I'll take it because it's really important that goes off. Do you. Oh, actually, um, he yeah. used his reroll. Has he, he used he, his reroll? Yes, he did use yeah. his reroll. So, I'll, I'll just take the perils on the chin. Um, I'm going to say you're sure. Oh, that. shit, yeah. No, I won't take the parallel. Yeah, because so, has he got five wounds? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's going to auto go off. So even if I roll a one, it'll Correct, still go yeah. off. So, so watch me do my amazing what, another double six. six. Oh, no. It would have been a good advert yes, for the honest war game with ice. That's it. I mean, on the was it the first turn what we what it was when, when he cast. Yeah, we both yeah. forgot it. We both forgot it. But he could have given he could him have potentially killed him. Double, double, um, yeah, well, double uh, blow up. If he's going to cast now, he's going to perils anyway. So these are strength five, so strength with an extra five attack each now. and four attacks each. Three attacks each plus plus yeah, the claw. Plus a knife. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Cool. Um, okay. Any more for any more? Yes. Has he got um, that? Has he got that um, mind control thing? Uh, yes, but it's no good for me in this position because um, yeah, he could only do a combat attack. It's twelve inch range as well. Right. Oh, right. Okay. So I didn't go for it. Yeah, and they've FAQ'd it as well, haven't they? Now, so you can oh, you got, can get I've out got of mental it. Onslaught. That's I what I mean. I will yeah. be doing that. Um, okay. Oh, but first, I'm going to use his once per game ability to do an extra one and yep. do a smite on him. Okay. Um, uh, is this, that not going to hit that beast? Yeah, this beast might be closer. Oh, of course he will. Oh, th this one here, actually. Either way. How many has that got left? Three. Three. So he could, could kill him. Kill and he can see, so. Yeah, I don't want to kill him, though. No. Yeah, that's what I That's okay. so, why I took In that case, we won't use the once again ability. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this guy is. Um, this guy will do the. He'll be smiting this It'll beast. Still be the beast, yeah. Yeah. Which, which one you can see, see, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Hmm. Give you a minute. Yes. Please. We'll give Tank a minute. Or a a smite onto this guy. Okay, so smite onto the beastie. It goes off. D three. For a two. Uh, two and resilience. And resilience. Nope. Nope. So he takes two. Kneels back, uh, everyone. Mental onslaught onto this guy. Yep. Uh, needs a six. Yep. Uh, Does get a six, six but you are. Dispel. I'm going to try and dispel that. You are? I am. Okay. You need a, uh, you need a seven, which uh, he does not. I Unless might, you want to CP. I might CP that because, yeah. So, so you need a three or more. Last CP. <sighs> okay, so he takes some off, we straight off the bat. Yes. And then it's a roll off. I'm leadership 10. Does anyone know what a knight is? Nine. Okay. Uh, you might not be leadership 10. Because Aye. I have a debuff within 12 inches. 
Yep, so we're yeah. both nine. It's just going to be a straight roll off then, isn't yeah. it? So tank rolls are three. You need a three. Or, you need to beat it, don't you? I get a three. So, so that's another more, more wound. wound. Should we just check this? Because I don't want to fuck it up. Okay. <laughs> we'll be back in a second. Okay, yep. So we have just uh, clarified in the book. Uh, it is matched. I have does to, stop it, I doesn't have to it? beat him for the extra Okay, wound, cool. So. so we're good. It's, it's not quite a uh, mind war, because mind war you have to beat. Ah, uh, okay. So. Right. Okay. Any more for any more tank? We're shooting now. We're all shooting, right? Okay. We'll let him do his small arms fire, then we'll come back to the big boys. So we'll be back in a second. Okay. Okay. I said small arms fire, but we have got quite a bit of relevant shooting, haven't we? So. Kill him off into this knight. Kill him off into the back knight. Uh, so we'll do his um, normal gun. Normal gun. Two hits. Two hits. No. Uh, wounds. Needs a six. Right. Yeah. Strip four, aren't they? Yeah. Um, she's going to pick him it's as the. Nice. Yeah, he'll do his other. He gets two more shots with the same one. Uh, two hits. He's got the relic. Fishing for sixes. Nope. And Next then relic. Gun. Now this is an other normal gun. Okay. Oh yeah, he's got three normal uh, guns. Two more guns. shots. One, one hit. Miss. Does a wound. Uh, does no wound. And there's his bonus shot. And a six. No. Yeah. And then he's good gun. Ooh. We need that roll again. Yeah, you do need that roll again. No. No. And he gets three more. Yeah, he gets shooting again. So two hits. Gets yeah, a wound. One at minus two. So minus two Neil, up. so five up save. Which Neil pass <laughs> what is wrong with you? Um disgustingly resilient mate. <laughs> sniper into him. Yep. One or two. Hits. Because uh, she did stand six. No. still this turn, didn't she? Yeah. Has she, she just got a normal sniper rifle move. gun? Yeah, well it's minus two D three damage. Oh nice. But it's only strength four. She did actually move, but you put the plus one to hit on there, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, so you still yeah. two. Oh yeah. Good shot, Neil. So we've got um, one, two, three large cannons. Yep. Oh no, green are in combat. So it's we've two. got red, we've just got two, yeah. yeah. So two at that night. Up there, we'll so two, two mining large lasers. Cannons and all the small arms. Yeah, sure, we'll do it off camera, yeah. So uh, two mining lasers, plus one to hit, uh, be threes. No, reroll your ones Nothing. to wound. Nothing. Do you not reroll ones to wound? Um, no. No. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. So we'll just do all the small arms fire off camera. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. We make the charge. So these guys have all charged in. We took a wound from that from pistols. That's about it, really. All the small arms fire just bouncing off knights and took, oh, other items. I took a wound on the beast from pistols in combat. Cool. Down there. Yeah. But that was it. So the rock saw boys have now got in until warlord. Interesting. Hmm. <sighs> This could potentially do some damage to Neil's Warlord. You did declare the beast as well, I presume. Uh, I didn't yeah. declare him. I don't want to attack him, I want to try and hug him if I can. Okay. Huggy huggy. So we'll let Tank move his units in. Is any more charges after that, Tank? I don't think there is, uh, is there? No, there won't be, mate. Cool, so let Tank pile in and then we'll get back with all the attacks. Okay, so Tank's piled his acolytes in with the rock saws, yeah, uh, and we are... We left one back to within nine inch of the Primus for yeah. plus one to... Plus one to hit. Plus one to hit. Cool. Is um, so, there any strats being employed? Yeah, I'm going to play... It's called First Blood. I can remember a strat for a change. Hey. It's a uh, one CP. Yep. I already recycled this turn. Yep. And that gives me plus one to wound. Yeah. Because of Neil's Warlord trait, I can only wound him on a true all of a far. Yeah. But because I'm strength five with a rending clause, if I get plus one to hit, that means I'm um, plus one to wound. Means I'm uh, you're still rending on fives. fours with claws and knives, yeah. and um, on the rending claws, fives will be rends as well. Yeah, yeah it's just maximising what limited damage you can do. Isn't yeah. It, so. yeah, I'll show you because it damage. is a modified roll, so it's yeah, it's a weird one, but it okay. makes sense. So I've okay. got um, I've got twelve attacks with the saws first. Okay, so here's the twelve saw attacks. The literally is going to chainsaw back his ankles off. Twelve. So these are uh, plus one because of him. Yep. So they're and they're re-rolling ones because of this banner. Yep. So it's twos re-rolling ones. Yep. Nice. Uh, they all probably should hit. Uh, one re-roll. One re-roll. Yep. So they all, all hit. And then they would be wounded on threes, wouldn't they? They would normally be wounded on twos. Twos. No. Threes. The strength. They'd be strength ten. Yeah. So, so wounded on threes, but then plus they one. They would be twos. But they would be twos. So but it fours. is. It is fours now. Yeah. Yeah. Fours, it's now. fours re-rolling ones. It yep. Should have been twos re-rolling ones. <laughs> That's not, not bad at all. <laughs> so oh dear, here we go. One, two, he's, he's dice are so you actually didn't wound with two of them. Yeah. And they do what? Two damage each? Uh, flat minus four, two damage each. So it goes straight through. 
And so Two, how many? Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eight, and twenty damage. Twenty damage, Neil. He's got four wounds left, mate. He's got two wounds left. Oh, he's already been damaged. He's already been damaged, this one. So, Warlord's got two wounds there. Neil, that relic thing didn't really do much for you, did it? Hey, stopped him dying. <laughs> I was surprised by that. I was a bit That jam- was a good roll, I was yeah. jamming. I was to be fair, the amount of invulns Neil's rolled been no taken. I dice. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> and then the rending claws and all the knife attacks. So now they're just going to shank the driver while it's on its knees. So we'll let the tank count. 11, as it, oh, have you got a- 33 rending claws. Cool. Do you want to do 11, 11, 11? 11? 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, we'll probably cool. need 11. So uh, we're 2's rerolling 1's. Yep. Nice. And then we'll be wounding on 4's. Uh, yep. And 5's are minus 4. Reroll the 1's for the banner. Uh, so it's because of his the yeah. Primus, yeah. Yeah. Primus, yeah. You know it better than me, mate. It's so, a one. so that's an auto wound. You go straight through. And so these two, that. these three are at minus one. So, so you've got three minus I've ones to save you, Neil. All of these keep my wall on one. Yep. Four ups. No, he's dead. Does he blow up? Now this is interesting Could because... Could auto blow. I can't. Well not auto, but anyway. four plus. Oh, all right. <laughs> so the, the the reason why this is interesting is because obviously the the, the codec, the, the yeah, blah, 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 words. Anyway, just if he blows up. He doesn't, right. So, the interesting thing with that is because he can now get back up with a stratagem. No, I can't. Different house. Yeah. Oh, is it? Is it the infernal one? Right, okay, so he's just dead. I've got no CP left anyway. The no Ah. get ups rubbish though because you can't operate. Because it's, but it's also, you can only do it if it doesn't blow up. Ah, yeah. Yeah. So, it's, that's kind of why it made a difference, but that's a night done from, how many points were that unit? About 40. Okay, so it's they've tripled pretty much their points worth. Yeah, unless you like add the points of all the dudes. Yeah, yeah, all the buffs and stuff, but and the strats. Yeah. Cool. Um, so Not your f- n- first non-striking them. combat. Uh, so sorry, non-charging I'll, combat. Um, yeah. I'll do my consolidation and hugging. Cool. We'll be back in a second when Tank's done his uh, hugging. That's for now. Cool. So, so two, two stop, stop signs into the beastie. Freeze. No rerolls of any kind. Uh, strength uh, eight, so freeze. freeze. They have a bucket or attack those stop signs. Oof. Oof. That went great. Four, five wounds, five. Neil. Five up in ones. Yeah. Five of you. Yeah. Yes, please. Um, it makes two, two of them. Each, yeah? Yeah, yeah, so you need to make half of these at least. Easy. No, he's dead now. No, he's dead. Okay. Uh, I'll just do a bit of consolidating. Yep, so let the tank consolidate, and then we'll probably do all the other combats off camera because they're all a bit. Meh. Okay, it. so uh, the end of the combat phase, nothing really died down yeah. here, did it? What was quite significant though is um, when I activated my guys to pile into his beasts, I was able to hug this one yeah. and also and hug this one, one, which yeah. kind of protects all my acolytes. So from everything shooting. around here is pretty much because the others are just characters, aren't they? Now? I mean, the knight will rinse them, but yeah. there's not a lot he can shoot with this knight now. Yeah. Um, shoot the red squad. Shoot the red squad off. You could maybe start putting some fire into these. Yeah, well, well the missiles are probably going to go with the other stuff anyway, isn't it? But yeah, okay, so that's the um, end of Tank's turn. Um, score wise, you scored. Well, you, uh, so you, held, you held one. Yeah, at the minute, well. at the minute, I just hold and kill. Yeah. Um, I max out Kingslayer. Yeah. And I got another Engineers. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so going into Neil's turn three. Um, Hmm, interesting. Yeah, we've just been saying, okay, there's not much really Neil can shoot at with that knight, so he's kind of stuck out there alone, but he has the a lot of attacks still, because he obviously he, he has the kill counter, doesn't he? He does. So, so yeah, interesting. top up his kill count and uh, get dancing. Interesting. Okay, so um, Neil's turn two, uh, turn three, three, sorry, coming up next. Right, Neil, what are you doing, love? Right, so he's moved yep. all the way up. Yep. He's moved a bit up, so he yep. basically got... Not something like charge. Sloppity stood still. You tried last time, Neil. Yeah. Um, he's <laughs> tried to advance to there. Yeah, but he's a slow, smelly boy with his guts Orange. hanging out. Um, <laughs> and that's, <laughs> that is, uh, that's my movement. Cool. Um, psychic phase. Okay. You do have. I do what have. What would you like to do? Uh, he is going to smite. And it's going to be on there. Yeah, because they are the closest to target. Okay. I need an eye range, mate. Um, you Probably, mate. You've got the Prey Patriot this over there. Guy. This guy. The way he's down here now. Oh, this right. guy is. Yeah, yeah you're Stop. in range. Did you do psychic powers? Yeah, he's a herald. Uh, he doesn't have a psychic. No, not a psychic. He's <clears throat> not a psychic, no. Um, not so, so, oh. Smite. Sorry, he's a herald, dude. That's a perils, Neil. You've got no CP, Neil. He takes 
three, but you, two. How many? Wounds. What kind of perils? One or a six? Or? Double one. Double one. Oh. So it just uh, doesn't. So it takes a wound. Yeah. Do you, do you disgust him? Yeah, I took yeah. one wound from that. Okay, that was. Other psyker. Other psyker. Uh, he's not psyker. Oh, he's not. Is he sloppy? <laughs> no, sloppy. He's not psyker. Cool. Uh, okay, so that's psychic phase. We'll let Neil pick his targets, and we're we'll back in a second. Okay, so uh, this knight is going to whirl up everything. So. Stubbers, both of, are going into the last two unpa the unbanded boys. Yep, so the two last cannon boys, basically. Well, two mining lasers. Lid missiles are going into the green boys who are not in Green combat. bros, yep. Yeah. Um, Gatler and battle cannon are going into the red band boys because they're not in combat. Cool, okay. Where do you want to start with? I'll start with the uh, Stubbers. Stubber, Stubber. I'm going to kill okay. the last two guys. So that is... Four hits. Four hits. Three to wound. And that is three wounds. Three wounds tank. Five up saves. <sighs> Two die. Just enough. That's, that's the um, unpainted, unbanded yeah. ones. <laughs> that's D6 one kill. Onto the green guys at the top. Yep. Yeah. Probably two. Four. Oh, five. five this time. Uh, so threes. That's four hits. Is this green dudes? This is yep. green dudes. Uh, so that is three wounds. So, so six up. Ups. Six up, yep. Yeah. Makes none. Three die. Not, in, not enough, I don't think. Leave our dudes on the objective. Yeah. Leave my side. And then we've got Battle Cannon and um, Gatler into the squad of reds. So, Gatler, I need to keep tally for those, don't I? So I killed two, two, three, four, five. You killed that turn, right? So, that's up to. Um, so, Gatler into the red band boys. Yep. A little bit better. He's he's definitely top boy today, isn't he? Uh, twos. Yep. That is uh, seven. Yep. Seven wounds onto the red ones at minus two. Six ups. Makes one. One, two, three. Six, six red die. Dead. Okay, and then big B cannon. Yep, so battle cannon. Yep. There are some red guys left, aren't there? Uh, I think that's the last one. Okay. So he's, uh, he's, that's six. So he's dead. dead. Yep, so okay. Right, so battle cannon cannon's wasted. Okay. Right, so one knight left. Um, if we find a red, I'll just kill him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll kill him. <laughs> My fun. Um, so this guy's now left with very little options because... Everything else in combat. in combat. Pink guys are in combat. They're about to get tap danced on. So he's going to put his indirect into the green boys. Yep, into green bros. Everything else is going into the aberrants. Yep, the aberrants. Cool. It. So indirect missiles. Hang on, that just was No, I'm not going to do it. Why is there a thing you can do? No, it's too. I needed to do it at the start of the shooting phase. I could have given fair. them a four up, feel no pain. Okay, right. Why is it done at the start of the I phase? I needed to do it at the start of the shooting phase. Okay. And it's not really fair because Neil could have shot more guns at him. Yeah, yeah, that's so. fine. So uh, indirect one. Indirect. Third two. There's, there's there two. you go. Uh, one hit. Cocked. Oh, cocked. Hits. And threes. It's a wound at minus one. Uh, six six up. Save. No. So it's another, a green bro. It. It's another bro. Uh, green bro. Green bro. So uh, keep my... these are all going to be reduced damage anyway. So yep. we'll go with the stubbers. Yep. For six hits. Nice. You know minus is to hit, are you? No, I'm hitting toughness for uh, forced wound. That is five wounds. Mm, okay, so they're all in cover. So, so they will get the plus one. I've got four up saves. Yep. Five. Five off. So Ooh. only one. And then five up feel no pains. Oh nice, uh, so one takes one. a wound. No, well, that's one aberrant dead. Yeah. Oh, it's five up feeling pain, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we'll wheel. Do you want to wheel up the rest of the shots, Neil? Yep. So pull them up. Gatlers. Yep. These are only going to do one damage as well because of the yeah. aberrant rule. So it's wave serpents. Yeah, literally walking wave serpents. That's a lot that's of twos. twos. That is a lot of twos. Two ones, but a lot of twos. Uh, that's Elliot. That's known for twos. Oh, just known for bad dice. Four, Four wounds, <laughs> mate. So, so minus, minus two. two gives you a six, so up, a save. six up save. It makes two of them. So mm. And then, and then one. Five, yeah, one for each. Kill kill one kill One more out, and then battle cannon. How many shots? Nice twelve would be good now. How about well, three? We'll take three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two hits. Yep, twos. Two. Uh, oh, one, one wound. wound. Okay. Um. So, so six up again, minus mate. Minus two, so it's a six up. No. Nope. And then how many damage? D three minus one for three. Two. So two, two. damage. So, so five. Nice. Thank you. Abrant's coming through. 
Alright, right, Neil, I think that's your turn shooting wise, that's isn't it? Shooting. Oh, Mikey, these were the red velvets I wanted. Mm. Red velvet, nice Canadian ones. Can't have them, lads, sorry. Sauce, 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 lads. These red gemmas instead. It's a good advert. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, charges then. We might as well keep it rolling. So, he's obviously charging both of those yep. so we can get in. He can't, no, but watch and. Yep. So he's in. I just want to get some bad dice rolls out of the way first. Bosh. What's the other big lad doing? Uh, he's also going to charge into Yeah, again, no overwatch, so run him in. So. He's, he's going to make it. Eight. Okay, so, so we'll let Neil move them in and then we'll be back in the fight phase. Okay, we're about to go dancing. So, Chaos this, Knight number one. This guy is yes. up to 25 on his tally. Yep. So he's got seven attacks, four yep. base charged because of the uh, household and two extras now because for every 10 he gets an extra attack yep he's going to put five of his actual attacks into the green squad and two into there so okay. this is five happy feet attacks the green, the squad. green squad okay um mm. not amazing bad average bad average for me anyway that's bad average <laughs> and twos. it's going to be twos to splat so that is two four six seven Seven six ups for the invun. Seven. Mm hmm. Here we go, jamminess. One six, one. six die. That's six. not the unit. Okay, and then the rest on the um, other, acolytes. The other two onto the acolytes. Yeah. yeah. Stompy stomp. That's yeah, three hits. Again, not great. Twos. Uh, that is three wounds there onto the acolytes. Three wounds. Two. Do they have the... Oh, these are also additional minus one AP as well. So they're just straight die. These are minus three. How many, mate? Right okay. Three. three, three just off. three of them, yeah. Yeah, so whenever part of the household for these is when we charge, get charged, heroically intervene to get an extra attack. And an extra AP. But then melee well. weapons get an extra one AP yep. as well, which is tasty. Yeah, strength, str AP minus three kicks is pretty nasty, to be fair. Okay. Um, so I'm assuming, Tank, with your two, three CP you have left, you're not going to intervene because you're punching knights. Or are you? Tell you what, it's it's not the worst idea in the world because they are still might from beyond it. Yeah, and you do have the chain. That's the phase thing, I take it. Yeah. Um, I've the plus one to wound is a I could intervene and go that's plus one to wound. Oh, unfortunately, some of those can't move away from here. Uh, yeah, that's so you the are point. losing out on scene. The that's actual the things that are going to make it worth it. Those two can. Ah, yeah, because they've got pile yeah, into the because of this unit. dude. Although he saved me a lot of trouble, he stopped me from doing that. Yeah. But you, you will be wounding this guy on twos, though, is the other option as yeah, well. Because he doesn't have the things, the actual chain swords. Not enough are going to be wounded. Not enough. I could only get two swords into him. So it's effectively going to cost me three CP with the. Um, yeah, with the thing. It's going to wipe you out. I think we're still in battle round three. Although I will be wounding this guy on. Twos? With your plus. Will you be strength ten in it? Oh yeah, and they use the strap to think you. Yeah. I'd be wounding on twos, yeah. yeah. So I'd be hitting on twos, re-rolling ones, and wounding on twos. Wounding on twos. I mean, you could let me fight, kill you all, and then decide if it was a good idea to. <laughs> Gonna say, oh, all the other option is letting him <laughs> stamp on the things that can kill the knights. What this three gets me, it gets me one more perfect ambush. But I'm sort of thinking now, do I need it? Probably not. When Neil's cascaded, cascaded literally, he's got four models which yeah. are here. No, six. Sorry, six models, but they're all still in this corner. So you've pretty much got a decent thing. Same. I mean, I know what I'd do, but if you I know, get, I'm not playing. If I can get so three saws, and I'll do it. You can't move away from him. Though. I know I can't move. He's got to stay still. But if I can get within an inch of someone who's within an inch, I think yeah, I can. you can still attack. Yeah, because you can. I'm going to intervene. Okay. okay, so spending the two, do you get them back? Because uh, it's a new battle round. I need fives. No, no, it's not a new bat round anyway. It's still bat round three, and he's already got one. Oh no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it because it's only on a turn that you've charged that you get the plus one to win. Ah, okay. So, it's but you still would be winning on threes with no rerolls. No, it's, I'm not doing it. It's okay. not worth it. Okay, so we're not doing it. This might We've gone back. Way. You might still get to trounce me anyway. Okay. I forgot that I can't use the plus one to wound strat in his fight phase. So. Right, okay, it's in the, in the only turn you charge, basically. As we said, I'm learning this army as, as yeah, you Yeah, yeah. So three. Cool. Yep. That's not great. <laughs> still enough to kill the unit. Oh, it's not, unfortunately. Ooh. Twos. It is twos to wound, and again... Twos to kill, two minus three. 
so that is. Have they not got the two, in four, one, have they? Six, seven. Uh, no. Seven so dead. Seven so down. Minus three, yeah. But I'll get to swing with a couple of saws, I think. Uh, okay, we'll let Tank take his casualties one, and we'll see where we go. Two. I'm saying eight wounds. You're saying eight wounds? Eight wounds, what are you saying, Neil? 24. 24 wounds? Okay, so we've got. Neil's just struck with the beast and did so nothing. We're at nine of the primers for plus one. Yeah. So, Tang's now going to pile in with the acolytes with the rock saws. So, we've got three in there. We've got three saws. Three and saws. Three sets of claws. Three stabbies. Okay, so. So, we, we've still got the might from beyond on. Yep. So, we've got an extra attack each and an extra strength. Yep. Uh, we've not. So, all we've got is we'll be. We're hitting on twos because of the primus. Yep. My, I had to pull my banner to, to get away from this. So you're not re rolling the ones. So no ones. So yeah. hitting on uh, twos and then wounding on the saws of strength 10. So, so they'll be threes. And on threes, and yep. these guys will be fives. Yep. So Okie dokie. So let's hang his dice and then we'll see if these chainsaws can uh, cut you up, Neil. Yeah? You ready for the saws? Here's Coming the out. saws. Twos. Oh, Cocked. Man, they, they all hit. They all hit. They wound on three. Three to wound. It's not mm. bad. So Probably average. These are strength. These are minus four, four as well. Yes. Yeah. So, so 12, twelve damage. Twelve damage. So he's with right. one fell swoop. He's took half off. Those souls are nasty. Yeah, they're good. Rending claws. Yep. Twos. All hit. Uh, we're on fives. fives. So two, three also wounds. Yeah. So that's down to and two at minus one. Two at minus one, Neil. Takes an extra wound. Mm. And three cultist knives. Stab, stab. Which are like chainsaws kind of thing. Uh, they need fives. So he, he's taken what, 14 wounds? Uh, 13, yes. 14 wounds? Yeah, not, bad. Yeah. not bad. It's not bad. Less than Interesting. Than we'll swing these off camera. Eh? Yeah. He's actually taken more than that. He's taken 16 wounds. He's down to eight. So yeah. the 24, didn't you? Yeah, Matt. Matt, who cares about that? <laughs> so. Okay. So, uh, these guys are going to flip elastic bands into the beast's eyes. I think they might kill him. Uh, they've got a good chance. Fours. Not with that. Not with that. <laughs> they can still mathematically kill him. Fives. Two, Two wounds. wounds. They, they can still kill him. No, uh, Neil's, Neil's made resilient. a save. The dream's over. It takes okay. a wound. Cool. Okay, Neil, you've got nothing else to attack with. Tank, you've got nothing else to attack with. Um, Morale is a thing. Okay, these are leadership seven now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've lost eight. Eight, so plus one to the dice, which will be I three. I lose an additional one for slop team. So I lose four. Hmm. Two, three. I think you've got uh, one left. Green boys. Uh, two four. left. Yeah, he's got two left. Two swords. Hmm, interesting. Um, so they can still the do green, some damage. Green boys have lost. Or leadership eight, so they're fine. So all good, fine. excellent. Uh, okay. So uh, the aberrants are fearless because of him, and they're yep. all fearless. As they're well. all fearless as well. Right then, so tank will score, kill one. Oh yep. So we've got. Um, no, he won't kill. I've got. He, he hasn't killed anything, have he? No, he's only oh. killed a knight. <laughs> oh yeah, that one. I killed. I have killed more because I killed unbanded red boys. So that's two. Yeah. So Neil gets. Um, kill more. Neil gets a hold, a kill, a kill more. You'll get. I get hold more. Yeah. Um, we'll max out his reaper now. Yeah. He got another butchers. Yeah. Um, I got still, yeah. another. I did my engineers already. How many wounds did I take off that? So that's down to eight. So took, took sixteen, 16 off that one. So that's two titan slayers. Yeah. Interesting. It's tight. It's very tight. It's not. There's not much in it. So battle round four. It's coming up next. Mm. Good game. Okay, so uh, Gene Steeler Colts, uh, turn these four. These guys have hide in. Yep. These guys have stayed on that objective. Yep. These guys have advanced to get yep. extra people on the objective. They're the uh, Black Bros, yeah. Yeah, Black Bros. Uh, the um, the Ooh. wizard has advanced to come through here so he can buff these aberrants, which yep. are moved for six inches away from here. We measured off camera. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we didn't advance because we'll yeah, just another unit six. aberrants have dropped in here as These well. These have come it? in just normal deep strike, nine away. Yeah. So it's a blind charge, so they can try and like YOLO a nine. Yeah. Uh, but I don't have to spend Oop. the uh, <laughs> don't have to spend this free CP. Yeah. Um, he's moved on to the objective for another body. Yeah, she can't um, target him as well. If we fail, we've made the patriarch untargetable. Yeah. Uh, stayed in combat here. Yeah. Hoping, hoping to smite him off. Yeah. 
And um, look, you don't really have much shooting then, do you, really? You've got a bit of shuffling to move, yeah. but I can shoot if I smite him off. If you smite him I off, I get yeah. a, a, last cannon, a couple of last cannons free. Cool. Okay. So, speaking of that, should we go into the psychic phase? Yeah, psychic phase. So, where do you want to start? So, the, ma the Magus is going to try and put Mike from beyond on these guys. Yep. Um, needs a seven, but he gets plus one because of the crouchling. Yep. So, it goes so off. On an eight. So, nine. You, Neil, you'll need a nine. Range, mate. You can have it because, in fact, it depends if he's in range to spell anything over here. Which is not. He's not, so he might as well. Okay, so you need a nine, Neil. Which you don't get. Okay. Okay, so we'll try and uh, smite this guy. Yep. Which does. Do. Um, uh, D3. Oh, it's For we one, one, disgustingly. A lie. He is. So annoyingly he's alive. That's what <laughs> beasts do. They That's what thirty-four yeah. points Annoy of people. slime does. <laughs> Blob. Okay, so this guy will try and. Yeah, you know, I think he's just going to smite he's, this knight. Yeah, yeah fair enough. Okay, so another smite. So it goes off on a six, which it does. It does. D three. For three, big fat three. That one's down to five. He's in trouble, Neil. He's fine. <laughs> He's in trouble. He's fine. Right, that's psychic over. Psychic over. Um, so we've got one last cannon. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, so I'll she's making the the priority target him. Yep. yep. So plus one's hit. So we've got. Um, we'll do the exciting auto gun first. <laughs> the auto gun will shoot this boy. Yep. So auto gun into the beastie. Two, Two hits. hits. Two ones, hit. Fives. Uh, one, one wound. wound. Five up in one. No, it makes it. it. Uh, last cannon tonight. That's doing what last cannons do. Yep. Um, sniper into her. <laughs> yeah, into, yeah. into Herald Boy. Uh, hits. hits. She didn't move. Does wound. Uh, no, it's strength. Toughness five, isn't he? Yes. So it doesn't wound. It doesn't wound. Cool. Um, Back in those days when snipers always wound on fours. Yeah. Um, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pistols. Yep, into Beastie Boy. Can they try and. Fringe the last wound off. Oh, good Maybe. pistol! Nice. <laughs> good pistol shooting, lads. Can't really pistol whippers. Uh, only two, two wounds. wounds, though. It's enough. Disgusting. It is enough. Two, two disgustings. No, Neil. Oh. He's, he's now a blob of mess. That's dead. Oh, I mean, he always were, weren't he? To be fair. So, so Mr. Keller. We have Keller, Keller, Keller morph. Uh, Mr. Keller is going to shoot. Um, He's on, not taking any damage yet. Not taking any damage yet. Yeah. Uh, will shoot this guy. Okay, so Kellamorph off into the beast. Uh, first first pistol, pistol. Two, two hits. hits. Fives. No, no wounds. wounds. Bonus Six. shots. Two hits. No, no wounds, wounds again. Second Last. pistol. Two hits. One, uh, one wound. wound. Bonus shots. Miss. So I'm say or in one. No. Two damage. Disgusting. Next one. Uh, so, relic pistol. You knew that was two damage, right? Yeah. So uh, save one. Be disgusting. Uh, no, three more. Nothing. No. Hmm. He's, he's not been very good, has he? Well, good old hand solo over there. He is up against a bit of a tough opponent here. Literally tough. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't even supposed to be a joke. <laughs> Good, because it weren't one. It weren't funny, Neil. Uh, we've got no other shooting. No other shooting. Okay, so we'll uh, come back when tank's ready to charge. Okay. All right, so um, Gene Steeler charge phase. Um, the pink bands are going to charge the beastie. Yeah, we're just looking to get some extra movement for screening. They're in. They're in on a nine. So, so we'll just, uh, do you want to move them in after time? We know where, you, we know where they're I'll going. I'll do it now. Oh, he's doing quick. it now. He's doing it now. Don't worry. Quick. Don't worry, lads. He's doing it. Okay, so they're in there. Um, Aberrants uh, the have got. The green will charge the beastie as well. Uh, they can't get through. Ah, yeah, they'll not be able to fit through there, mate. Able to get through. Fair one. Un unless you just smudged one no, of them I that mean, way. It's, it's not. It'll, it'll, it'll save my last cannon yeah. if anything. I yeah. should have. I should know better to do that, but I didn't. So yeah, it's my bad. Okay, uh, we've got a blind charge here from the aberrants. Um, yep. Into the knight. Uh, we we measured this before as a six. Yes. Yep. Six charge this one. Oop. Makes it on twelve twice. Once it double double wrap. Okay, so we'll let the tank move them in, and then I think you've just got a nine inch charge, don't you, with the other ones? Uh, the other if you ones, need it. I think the other ones are just going to chill. Cool. Okay, so that'll be Gene Stiller's charge phase over. Just let the tank move them in, and then we'll be back in the combat phase. 
All right, so GC let stop sign time. So these have got might from beyond, so the strength six with the the guys with the signs get five attacks each, yep. which becomes two of the signs. So they're swinging at strength ten. Yep. So uh, twenty attacks. Yep. Hitting on twos because of the primers. Yep. That's a lot of ones. No banner in there to make them re-wall either. Yeah, they don't can't get banners, unfortunately. Okay. And if no. they did, they'd probably try and hit someone with it. Probably, yeah. And then wounding on threes. I mean, technically, it's a, a stop sign could be a banner. Are these a minus two? Uh, yeah, uh, minus one. Oh, okay, so you've got four up saves, Neil, which I think eleven there's eleven of. And they're two damage each. Two damage. Okay. Well, so you need a lot of you, mate. Uh, ooh. Um, I think it's enough. No, it's, it's, it's enough. not enough. So, so he's dead. Five anyway. Does he blow up? Uh, yeah, might as well. You need it. Doesn't. <sighs> on a, used to in seventh head. So no, that knight is kaput. Um, you've done the attacks already on the beast, and you did yeah. nothing. So oh, luckily, did it damage. Luckily, those saw boys can't actually do anything. No, they can't. Not that, yeah. They don't need to. <laughs> But they can be targeted the next turn. So we'll just let the tank do his consolidation. I believe that I've is got, it. So I've you've got, got beasties to fight back. I've got beastie boy to fight. Go on then, roll it. Roll it, roll it. You get one attack, Neil. Excellent. You hit, Wounds. Neil. It's a wound. One wound. Oh, sorry, that's a hit. Now. That's a hit, yeah. Is a, is a wound. One failed. <laughs> yeah, one damage. So one pink boy is dead. Right, okay. So, um, don't believe they'll, that's enough for a morale either because you've still got the He's leader in. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah. Right, okay, so decent enough for uh, tank. I think you've maxed out on um, the Titan yeah, Slayer now, so haven't you? We've got a, so I just get hold and kill because I'm going first. Now. Yep, yeah. hold and kill. Uh, max out Titan Slayer. Yep. And get another Engineers. Yep. Uh, and over to so he's still he's still pretty tight. We obviously Neil to go next. Neil bank some good points. Some good points. Yeah, there. so got your work cut out, Neil. But it's definitely not out of it yet. No. So. Chaos Knights and two smelly boys, three smelly boys coming up next. Right, okay. Uh, Neil, what you done? So he's tried to get away from him, yet still staying there. Yeah. Can't do it. Um, so he's still in die range. But he's still holding the objective. Can't really hide him too well, but let's yep. keep him alive. Sloppity state Knight still. sort of moved around. He's backed out, so I can basically shoot any unit I want that's not a character. Mm -hmm. um, Sloppity's still there because he's still holding that objective. Uh, and that is movement. Yes. Yeah, I've only cool. got three, four models left. Okay, do you want to go straight into your psychic phase? So he's just basically going to smite. Yep, the aberrance, yep. Aberrance, even. So that's I'll try and deny with my mega. You will need die. a 10. You get. Oh, no. 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 Uh, D3. For two. Yep. Uh, feel no pains. Uh, one with takes a wound. Cool. Takes so they do have two each. Yep. So that's psychic done. Uh, do you know what you're shooting, Neil? think so. Okay, do you want to go straight into it? So, flame, uh, stubbers are going into there. Yep. Flame is going into there. Yep. Gatler is going into there. Mm -hmm. um, battle cannon is going to go into there. Okay, okay. We're going for a nice even spread and missiles are going onto the green boys at the back. Okay, green oh, bandy okay. boys, green bros. Yeah, do you want to do the green bros if first? If they run off then obviously it's two objectives apiece and I can tie yeah, don't shoot my black bros. Yeah, don't, don't, shoot, know, don't, don't, doing don't shoot the black bros. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so stubbers <laughs> into these two first. Stubbers into the green boys, yeah. That Ooh, is four three hits. hits, four hits. Please. So two wounds, this is on the green band. Uh, five up saves. Makes no one. one dies. That's unfortunate. Uh, flamer into the two saws. Yep. Four, four. Three's to wound. Live. That is three wounds, minus one. Needs uh, a six up couple of sixes. No. Uh, they're all deep, so that's I'm just going to add his tally up, so that's two threes just added on there. I need to keep remembering this tally. Yep. Which uh, also is a kill, so that does get you kill. It's D6. quite Nurgle esque, the tally thing. Yeah, yeah it is, yeah. D6 up and over into the green band boys. Into the green bros. That's three. three. That's one more than two, Neil. Two you hits. still hit twice. <laughs> two two wounds, minus one. Six ups. One yeah. another one. Those green bro the green bros are tough. Yeah. Uh, Gatler. Gatler into the pink squad. Yep. Twelve shots hitting on three. Not bad. That's not bad. Uh, mm, mm. Bad. Yeah. Bad average. Yeah. And uh, we need on 
twos. So that is two, four, six. Six wounds make up minus two. Six up in vault. <laughs> six die. Mm. Three, four, five, and six. Oh, that's a unit. So that's kill more for Neil. Kalamorph's not liking more. No, so he's, he's literally so just going to get. Well, he's done nothing to be fair. He's so though. useless. He deserves. He is it. hopefully yeah. going to get punted on that. I do. Nice Drop him. And the battle cannon into the um, aberrants. Yeah. So for shots is eight. Eight, not bad. So, uh, miss swing three. Missed. So five hits. Only on twos. Twos to wound. That is four wounds. So we minus you, two. Uh, you do me. I've got no armor safe, so if you do me the d threes on those. So yeah. So minus one from each of the dice. Doing one at a time. Yeah. Though, first one. Yeah, yeah. One's already on one wound as well. Yeah. So the first one is one wound. Effectively. Uh, one wound. He's obviously minus one. So he's dead. Okay. So and then d3. next one. So that's again another one. wound. Uh, another one takes a wound. Third one is three, three wounds. So two. So wounds. two. He is so just that's dead. Him dead. Yeah. Yep. And the last one. Is another, one. is another one. Yeah. Uh, fail another one. Fails another one. Okay, so two, two and a half. Not, not too bad. That's another two T tally nail as well. Yes, it is. So that's six. Um, and that's all Neil's gun shot out. Okay. I'm assuming there's going to be a charge. Uh, there is. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> we'll let Neil on. decide where he's charging, and we're back in the charge phase. Okay, so Neil's declared the Aberrants, the Kellermorph, and the Lone uh, Laser Boy. So laser Boy. Overwatch. Misses. No, uh, Kellermorph. So does his rule still s use in the Overwatch for uh, extra shots? Yeah, but he's got to hit on sixes. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's still going to get the extra shots. But he no, doesn't hit. Okay, he's fair enough. Living up to his. Uh, so Neil, you needed what? Were it six? Um, no, it's, probably, it's, it's probably, probably less than that. But I get um, lots. Eleven. Lots. That'll do. Okay, so we'll let Neil move in, and then we'll be back in a second. Okay, so uh, Neil's divvied up his attacks. We've got. I've basically got eight attacks now with my tally. Yeah. Uh, plus obviously the charge bonus. So I'm not going to fight him, but I'm going to put three of my attacks into him. Yep. Yeah, so three feet. And then five of my attacks into them. Did okay. you get my anointed fong strat? On? Ah, yeah. So you've used the strat which allows Jeez. the aberrant to fight when, one, they, when they die. Yeah. yeah. Come wolf and cool. So this is onto the pistol whipper. Yep. Hitting on. Oh. Threes. Cool. Two missed. And two's two wound. Obviously, this is normally minus one AP, but he's got a four wound yeah. as well. So minus that's two AP. Two, four. It's minus three when you charge, is it not? Yeah, I get plus one minus one AP. Five, six, seven. But it is minus two normally. He should die on average. So it's minus three. Yeah. Yeah. So one, fail two. 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 So, so two, you need max rolls, Neil, ideally. Easy. That's four. He's a lab on one. <laughs> Let me double check, because five sounds a lot for a GSP like that. Mm, he's an elite as well, he's not an or he's in HQ. He's an elite, yeah. Yeah, usually they're about four. Please be four. Yeah, he's dead. I like the sound they make when they go. <laughs> there. It's very nerdly. Right, and then um, the rest of the attacks into the Baron. Five attacks for 15 onto the Aberrants. Couple of ones. Decent. I think they're good dice are back. Two's to wound. Don't get saves now, do they? Uh, just my feel no pains. Mm. And reduce damage by one. So that is two. So four, one's on six, one wound, correct? Eight, nine. So, so roll, roll these one the at a time. Now. One at a time. This will be a bit laborious, but yes. Yeah, so yeah, the first, first one, one is a two, three, effectively. Two. Yep. So that's a two. So the feel no pains. Which no. Nope. So that guy has to die. Yeah. So yeah. roll his roll your attacks. Afterwards, yeah, okay. roll them, see what, I'll see what's I'll alive. I'll pile him in, but we'll mark him as dead yeah. with a dice. Yeah, of course, so that's one dead. Next, next one, third two is a one, so that's a one. Which he shrugs, he's fine. Okay, next one for two, which is a one, which he doesn't shrug, so uh, one's on to one wound. I'll put it on a stop sign, yep, and for three, so it becomes a two. This is on the guard that's stop signed wounded. He Stop signs dead, dead, so he gets we'll to pile him in. Fight. Yep. Mark him as dead. Next one for a three, so it becomes a two. Uh, made one, fail one, so okay. we'll say this. Next one. Of us. Next one is also this a three. This guy takes a wound. So it becomes, <laughs> becomes a two. So it becomes a two. 
Which he dies. And it'll just kill this guy and yeah. Yeah, so you, you might as well roll all of them together now. No, because he's still got more dudes. There's more, more guys. Of course there's more dudes. There's is always it? more dudes. Oh, yeah, but it is another three. <laughs> so it becomes <laughs> two. two. Five ups. Makes uh, them both. Makes Sweet. Next one. Warhammer TV dice. Becomes a two. two. Each is a one. No. And the last one is uh, three. Top side takes a wound. And you've got two more to take. Yep. From three. Mm, no. He okay. dies. Piles him. There's so. one guy gonna live because he's fearless. <sighs> okay, so four guys now get to fight in the combat. Still got Mike from Beyond on. Yep. yep. And we're still within buff range because of this. Point. Okay, so there's gonna be th four attacks from each of these stop signs. Uh, so there's five on each model, which yep. doubles to ten. So it's twenty attacks. Yep. Oh God. So twenty attacks with the stop signs, uh, hitting on twos as well. Uh, yeah, hitting on twos because of the, the Primus. And the strength 10. Yeah. <laughs> Whipping stop signs. Mate, when you've got to stop, you've got to stop. Uh, and the strength 10, so freeze. Freeze to wound. Ooh. I mean, it's still a Drop lot. Six, it's still probably enough. Seven, eight, nine. And then minus one. Yeah, nine at minus one. It's still decent. Four ups. Drops You'll make two. So I take Jesus. four wounds. Just four damage. So he's down to 20 wounds. So then we'll do the two buys with other oh, two tails. Yep. Um, one hit. Oh, it's a D3 attack, aren't they? Uh, no. Oh, D3 uh, wounds. D3 sorry. wounds. So Does one, wound Neil? One wound with a tail, no AP. Okay. Three up two. Which you pass. Good. And then the rending claw boys get four each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. They're, the twos. they're at strength sure. seven. Helix yeah. adds one, so it's still going to be threes. Yeah. Uh, fives. Is it, the strength seven or strength eight? Uh, they're strength five base. Yep. Helix makes them six. Yep. Mike from Beyond makes them seven. Seven, yeah, still fives, yeah. Uh, hit two. on twos. You're rolling in an unnatural amount of ones, Tank. Uh, Good. <laughs> that was a one when I pulled it. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. Uh, then fives. So two wounds. Minus, uh, one, uh, one's, one's, minus four. One's a ren, so that's straight through. So, yeah. And the other one is, is minus one. Not so another so one. Another two. 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 And then the uh, the picks. Yep. Which do D three damage, don't they, these boys? Yeah, I don't know why. I didn't know why I didn't do the picks first. But doesn't matter. Uh, all, all hit. hit. Nice. That was why. Yeah. These are three. Fives. Fives. Yeah. Two. Uh, yeah, just two at minus two. So five ups. No, no. One damage. Damage. Just one. one. Uh, sorry, no. Two go through, but D3 damage. Uh, five. So for another five. Mm, interesting. Um, so so Thirteen wounds. Die gloriously. I think they, yeah, they took you what? also get to fight with him gloriously. <laughs> nice. One attack. Last boy. He's, oh, better, he he's better in combat than he is with his flipping last guy. Oh, he doesn't wound. He doesn't wound. Uh, he's not going to be close enough to fight. No. <laughs> no. Well, he's close enough to be fearless. In combat. Yeah. Okay, so at the end of that. Oh, I need to count how many I've just killed. How many did I just kill there? Because I've got to four. Tally. Four in total. Yeah. So it's five. Okay, so. So I've got oh, no morale. Six because I killed him as well. No morale for yeah. you. Yeah, yeah I think you. He's only lost one. Green okay. boys have lost, lost one. He can't fearless, fail. Anyway, because of him. Yeah, well, he's leadership eight. He's lost one. Right, right okay, so that's they, no, there's no morale. They lost two, but leadership eight, so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so Neil gets hold one. And kill one. Kill one. Do you kill more? You must I've have killed him. Yeah, you kill more. I, I rinsed all the screen basically. Um, <laughs> I hold more obviously. Yeah. Uh, max out. Oh, max out engineers on the next turn. Yeah. Um, you have got. Did you, you got butchers that turn? Yes. Yeah. I've already max reaper. Much. So into turn five. Okay. So turn five for the genes to the cults coming up next. I'll just put these down. Okay, tank. What you done? Where have you moved? Um, okay, so stayed hiding. Yep. Stayed on the objective. Yep. Stayed on the objective. Yep. Psychers pop through the wall so we can see these guys to buff them. Yep. Um, these guys are moved in for a short charge. Gone in for the kill. These guys are just another six inch move. He's sort of moving towards him. Yep. The snipers sort of gone 14 inch move through there to get on that objective and see him. Might get lucky. Yep. Um, and he's more of a bank. Okay, so we'll do psychic now. Yep. Um, 
we'll do we'll try and do might from beyond on these guys yeah um so they, it needs a Ooh, five it needs a seven so it doesn't go off okay you have got a cp um i'm what did i roll then five yeah plus one makes six it's not enough i'm not gonna bother i don't need okay that much. oh yeah we got it with the uh, golem yeah um these guys have got smite this guy is going to try and um just because it's fun we're going to try and um mental what's leadership c leadership's a beast mikey as soon as you sat there Seven. we'll try and mental onslaught him there you go then uh, we need a six so goes off on eight you are out of range neil unfortunately so he takes one mortal wound so you do a five up oh. no it's from the other one so yeah. five up feel like pain on the first one yep Nope. nope. So he takes um, a wound, then, we then roll you roll off. off. I get a one, which is brilliant. So you need a three or more. Cool. So yep. it stops it. Ten. Ten. Cool. So we see how good. Not doing any well with that, are you? No. <laughs> uh, we will do. Um, I'll just smite this guy. Yep. Smite from the patriarch. I guess a ten. ten. So D three. One. Just down to twelve. Mm. Which does bracket him. So shooty phase. Uh, we've got no guns, which oh the sniper will sniper will shoot him. Yeah. Oh yeah, his pistol into the night. He misses. <laughs> uh, we'll do the sniper rifle. Hits on a three because she's moved. Yes. Uh, wounds on a five. Yeah, wound and a mortal wound. So save oh, mortal wound. Yeah. Is so that's the mortal saved. Was that the feel oh, of pain on the mortal? That was, was going to be the invoke, so I can do all the feel okay, of yeah. pain together. Yep. So, so he takes d three. Three wounds. So four. Four, four pair from pit. Uh, yeah. Not powerful pain, so they're not they're not drug card. Takes three so wounds. GG love. Excellent. I think that will probably be it now. Because yeah. you're gonna get your bonus, aren't you, for the last yeah. turn. Okay. Oh old bio can hurriedly intervene. Uh oh. I mean you could charge something else at him though. Yeah, he's not got anything to charge at him really. Yeah, it's got the Patriarch. <laughs> Right, yeah, so um, that's the psychic phase and the, and the shooting phase. So charge o'clock. Charge o'clock. There's no overwatch because he's in combat. Yep. So we'll do this guy. Patriot number one is in on a four, even regardless. This guy. He's also in on a five. These guys need a five. They're in as well. So. Goodbye, night. Are you going to make a long bomb charge for that beast so he can't heroically intervene? Oh, you can't stop me. He can if he charges. Yeah. 11 inch. He'll try. Might as well, any for not. Um, I'll just move these guys first. Yeah, no worries. I'll just go the furthest back one, all the tendons. Yeah. Just so they're all, well, they're all in range of the Patriarch anyway, aren't they? Uh, yeah. To get the plus one to hit. And the prime, the, yeah, he's. And the, the yeah. One. Just chilling and thing. So, big 11 inch charge trying to stop the. Uh, what dice should we use on this Wargamer once? Let's, let's, let's use Rob's dice. The long bomb. No. Oh, good. Nice, but not that good. You need a yeah. Reroll four tank. What do you need CP for? Should we CP it? CP the four. CP it for Rob. For Rob. Oh! oh! <laughs> Rob made it. He's a lovely. If anyone wants. There you go. So there, uh, the honest war gamer. You know who he is, Mr. Rob Symes, and he's stopped a beast from heroically intervening. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> okay, so. See if I get it back. If you get it back, because no. <laughs> I'd just be insulted. Really, okay, um, right. What do you want to strike with first? Neil's got no I can't intervene. intervene, so we've seen loads of stop signs. We'll do patriarchs. Cool. So we'll be back um, in a second. Okay. So patriarch number one. Okay. He's the forearm. Um, he's the uh, twisted. The um, twisted helix. Bladed cog. Bladed cog. Cool. So he's uh, got six attacks. Yep. Hitting on twos with no rerolls. Wow. <sighs> Um, you loving them ones today, mate. I oh know, mate. Neil, I think you'd better not stand near anyone. Else. He's uh, strength six, so, so it's five. five. Re rolling because they're monstrous. But that's minus cool. five, isn't that's it? That's minus like? four and flat three. Yeah. Flat three? Minus, yeah, minus six. So it's minus, minus, minus six. Or five, yeah. So, yeah, it's uh, minus, yeah, it's so minus this. A lot. More than it needs to be. <laughs> this guy is effectively the same. Uh, yeah, and five, five again. Re rolling. Oh. So, so six damage. Plus a save at to two minus, at minus three. three. Two saves at minus three. So this could be good by night. It is good by night. Oh no, because he's still got three wounds left. Uh, for D three damage each. So he's gone. It's good by night, Neil. Does he explode? No. no. He does not on a five. 
old mate over here. Mr. Aberrant. Aberrant. Can he punch uh, the beastie to death? Pick. <sighs> no, without. No. Nope. Doesn't wound. Rending claws. Three Fitness. hits. Three wounds. Uh, two, wounds. two wounds. Oh, minus four, but. Five ups. Neil doesn't save. No one saves. damage each. One damage each. Yeah, one each. Disgusting resilient. Yes. Uh, <laughs> cool. D6 attacks back. The card's about to run out, so give me a second. So we're, we're into like the talk through phase now. Yeah, because kind of there's not much left. Neil's got two models left. So what we said was um, this Sorry. guy's going to stay on this objective so he gets hold one yeah. and smite this lady. So. I'm looking for the uh, mega smite for uh, hopefully convincing. No. Don't get I would try and deny with one of these guys. Yep. So it would go through. Yeah. For only one. It's not enough to kill her though. So she's sort of that's still alive chilling. and kicking. Yep. Uh, then we do the combat here. Yeah. So that's two attacks. So that's two hits. One wound. Two wounds. Two wounds. Two wounds. And then I'd get a five up armor. And a so five up feel no pain, so he's fine. Uh, we'll swing back with him, so he gets three picks. Uh, no wounds. Mm, Should five, aren't you? Sorry. Yeah, on toughness five. Right, yeah. yeah. Rending claws. Uh, one wound. wound. Disgusting. Resilient saves it. So nothing happens over so here. In my turn, I would score hold. So hold one. Neil would have got hold one. So the end of so I would have got uh, hold kill. more, kill more, and the bonus. Yeah. Yep. Uh, then in my turn, I would probably kill him. Kill him. Yeah. Snipe him. And smite so him. he he's gonna. You probably get. Him I'd back. probably leave him be so I can. Yeah, you don't need to go for him. Because this is turn yeah. six, so this would be the last turn of the game, regardless. Yeah. So I just leave him here. I'd sort of. I think we can quite happily say that beast dead. I'd kill the beast. So that beast. Dead. And then that'd be it. Uh, and then your last turn, you can't smite. Just well, save your super smite. If I super smite, it's a different story, but. Which I you don't. do not. Cool. So, uh, Alright, so we'll. So, yeah, you would have got uh, another hold, though. So, we'll talk through the points um, off camera and then we'll come back with an outro because I think oh, nice. that's pretty much it. So, we'll be um, back. Do you, have a, do you want to have a dirty handshake? Yeah. Sweaty, dirty, dirty handshake. handshake. <laughs> right, cool. So, we'll be back with the outro in a second. So, that was a, a long one. Yeah, it's a long one. Um, yeah, we we're just saying um, the GSC is such a big, complicated army. Yeah, it's. Uh, I need to really work on getting faster. Yeah, I don't think um, any of your actions were something you could just just do quickly. There yeah. was always something that had to be done in the right time, the right things going on, the right strengths, mm. psychic powers, everything had to be done in the perfect order. And you did. We managed and to it, get there, and yeah. it, it shows that it works if you do it right. Yeah. Which, when you've got sort of time pressure and tiredness in tournaments, yeah. I think now I've had like six games and I've got a feel for them. I think the next step is going to be I have to start chess clocking myself. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll give you a barometer. So, you normally have an hour and a half doing for each turn for each. It took six hours to film this battle report. Yeah, <laughs> so I mean, you could have you could have had three games. I'm yeah, filming so, does yeah. take longer. It does, yeah. We've been making coffees and stuff, but yeah. yeah, it's like I'm definitely too slow for competing with it at the minute. It's yeah. tough. I mean, in fact, well, not to say it was all your fault that it took so long, but I mean, I was using knights, mate. I'm playing easy yeah, mode. Yeah. I'm playing evil easy mode. <laughs> yeah, knights are a great army if you just want to chill out at an event, yeah. aren't they, and still do pretty well. I mean, that's the first time I've ever used knights, first time I've ever used Nurgle Demons. Probably the first time anybody's used Chaos Knights with Nurgle Demons together. There's a chance some Renegade Knights from the Index are out there, mm -hmm. but the Nurgle screen surprisingly did its job. It's a good screen. Even with horrendously good like look when you rocked up and shot it, um, I got it miasmized off, so it was as defensive as it could. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the Flamers get around all that. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of happy because I think if I'd just run pure knights, you would have just been popping a knight every turn. Yeah, easily. yeah. So with that, I don't think you're going to see many Chaos Knights do very well if it's just Chaos Knights. I think if you see them in soup, especially with already established like Nurgle Demons, yeah. they might be quite tough, especially in somebody that's practiced, knows what they're doing with them, and, yeah. and already knows Nurgle Demons like tactics already. 
I think I gave that a good showing. Yeah, I think um, so. I mean, I mean, I'm, I don't rate Chaos Knights. I'm going to be honest. Um, yeah. I think Imperial are better, and I think if you probably the best you could do with them would be in like a threat overload type list. Yeah. Because what Chaos does well is loads and loads of tough bodies and powerful characters that can't be targeted. Yeah. So if you put one in, it's one thing they can shoot at with their good guns. I think also the loadout because these are tanks knights that he's built a long time ago to the index well I kind of built I built them I painted them so they could be Imperium or Chaos yeah. at the time Imperium that's the, the Imperium loadout at the moment isn't it yeah Imperium are always going to go with Crusaders and they're always going to do that very well they get a lot of options mm. relics strats for shooting game and also like character More defensive you can chuck too. Gilliman in there and they're mm. re-rolling ones to hit as well because they're Imperium Chaos, the Codex, the Strats and the Relics play to more combat, but they don't give you much combat defence. So you can go in there and do a lot of damage. You can't take it, and that, yeah. that doesn't really help you in the Endurance game. I mean, you can go for the um, Infernal Household, which is the one that I did not go for. You can run in, play a lot of Strats to do a lot of damage, a lot of good shooting with your... a lot of damage with the extra... Um, is it strength and damage results yeah. for one of the results you can make them toughness 9 which is amazingly good Yeah, uh, you can make them faster you suffer a bit of damage but you can also re regain that damage with the strats as well but then you're becoming 2 CP heavy and you, you're basically going to get probably a good couple of turns with it if your opponent knows what they're doing um, mm. especially with the new repulsor um, ex is it the executioner that's out now Yeah, they're going to pull knights apart especially if they team Caladius is yeah, um, kill shot predators with ice cannons are still a thing. Um, we do get rotate iron shields in the Chaos Knights, but that's one knight. Mm. You target one knight, they rotate iron shields, you shoot another knight. It's pretty, pretty. The biggest disappointment so. for me in the book is that they've not got like a operate on full profile type strap. Yeah. So they've got to get back up, but it becomes useless if you get back up and you're hitting on fives. Yeah, so mm. I think. Chaos get hell rights, which are very good warp smiths and tech marine equivalents who can fix them, but again you're then playing to soup. So a supreme command detachment with say three warp smith, uh, three hell rights, that'll work, but they're expensive. They're over mm. 100 points per model and they are just decent characters. So whether that's viable or not competitively, I don't think so. We can probably uh, sum them up as. Um better but not as good as Imperium yeah they're, they're good they probably play the combat game better than Imperium but that's not really a big shout when the Imperium does the shooting game so well so uh, <laughs> it's like yeah you have the worst job and do it better go for it fully and, boobs uh, GSC good but hard to use and hard to use quickly yeah Again, ironically enough, I don't think I had enough firepower to deal with all the units fast enough either, mm. which is another problem I had. Because I was limited to three big gun units, if you can skillfully shut one down, it's a third of my firepower gone. Yeah, yeah. So, again, not necessarily the strongest thing. <laughs> yeah. But that was a good game. It went full, yeah. it went full six turns. Um, it was close in the score, so even as a loss for me, that's not a bad losing score. Uh, no. That's not obviously what you want to play for, but you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's final score is thirty-two twenty to the Colts. Yeah, this is this is not bad. So whether that was mission dependent, I doubt it because Imperial Knights don't really play to mission anyway because yeah. there's not enough models. Um, so yeah, that was decent. So yeah, lots of fun. You've got some ideas. Yeah, I think I know which way I want to take my knights now. I've yeah. learnt more and I've learnt I've got to be faster, start timing myself and try and crack it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, well thank you very much today. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. And uh, thanks for Game Map for everything you've pretty much seen today apart from I think it was only the crates that were not from Game Map. Mm -hmm. um, so this was obviously a London GT uh, map setup. Yeah, so, this is a standard layout there for all the uh, all the tables. Yeah, so uh, that's something uh, that's coming up soon. And um, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for subscribing, and uh, we'll see you again. Bye, everyone.